Ah, hello there. Welcome to Fates United. My name's Sai. A sadist for some of those who haven't met me before, but of course everyone's heard of me. I have now taken over Fates United. I am calling it TPK because these players are worthless. I don't know, it's seemingly Ven has found a way to leave the game of Star Wars on Saturday and Jaeger, this Rachel character who plays in a nice I don't know, but you can't hide from me. Also, that happened, and uh, April Fools. So yeah, hello. <laughs> what, what are you doing? Stop it! <laughs> what a plot twist! Anyways, <laughs> stop. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hi, my name's Michael. <laughs> Arctic Dice. I'm just feeling a little smug that you're getting a taste. Just, of your no, whatever. <laughs> It's not fair. Anyways, hi guys. Welcome to Bardic Dice. Uh, <laughs> welcome to Fates United. It's uh, our weekly D&D campaign uh, where we uh, play with our wonderful friends here and a wonderful chat and community. And you guys are absolutely legends. Thank you guys so much uh, for the... And thank you guys so much for the support. <laughs> you guys are amazing. Moral, Amara, Ruined. You guys are absolute legends. Um, I'm hoping you got Paul. Thank you. I hope you guys are, uh, uh, you know, taking these back and refunding these. And this is all just April Fools. That'd be great. Um, but yeah, tonight's going to be super fun. I'm actually super excited. You guys got to see a preview of our featured uh, content creator of the week, Amara Vaxelin, uh, with her wonderful Kahu shirt, which I'm telling you, we're going to make this a thing. And uh, and I get to show off my uh, my 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 Vax robe because you know the Vax led back you know you get it, it was, okay it's a thing, um, but thank you guys so much uh, it was super sweet you guys are amazing and uh, I'm super excited to get into tonight uh, we have a really fun story planned, um, <laughs> did you know that? y'all literally made me. Move. Don't break it before he DMs you guys! I know, like wait till I start or something. <laughs> uh announcements, yada yada. We have socials, there's a Discord, join it, do it. <laughs> thank you guys. <laughs> Stop. Um, thank you guys so much for your support. I'm just I don't know, I don't know what to do anymore. Y'all kinda got me off. So socials, there's a Discord, join it because our group's amazing. You can see it. Uh my We're gonna do intros. <laughs> Sure, I got a light to fix, so make I have at it. <laughs> yeah, just take uh, some deep breaths. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's okay. I was broken right before the stream. Hi, I'm Dealey. Um, I used to draw art, but I don't anymore, so don't follow me on Instagram. And um, yeah, I'm here for some reason. I'm just kidding. Um, I'm really excited. <laughs> to play uh i play makai and yeah i actually do a lot of art and a lot of you guys are in the discord and see my whole spam thing and we had a great talk about ships so that was fun send more ships pictures i want to see big boats and i cannot lie <laughs> yeah, that's it yeah <laughs> awesome um, my phone case just broke i'm sad um but hi i'm <laughs> rachel uh, aka pip and i do arts uh, on Mondays at 3.30 CST at Marky Gaming. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, I don't know what else. Because I'm kind of, like, secondhand breaking. It's not even my channel, but, you know. I don't know. Go follow me on Instagram, I guess. I play Anais a cleric. But she doesn't talk. The end. I guess I'm Anais now, too, so, sure. Uh, John, do your thing. <laughs> Hello, I am John. I am the I am Kaurangi. Man, this today is an interesting day of energy. That is for sure. I am still Dealey's husband. I'm planning on keeping it that way. <laughs> I don't feel like I, I can April Fools that one because I I think it's going too far. Ooh, that would be dark. It would be dark. You could, I mean, you could, but uh, it'd be dark. No, no, no. Just no. the camera goes off here. No, stop! I'm 
Yeah, right. <laughs> I have a slipper <laughs> ready. <laughs> uh, but yes, excited to be here. Happy, happy April Fools. April Fools, I get No, unhappy April Fools. That's the way to do it. Unhappy April Fools. Very unhappy April Fools, everybody. Yes. It wasn't it wasn't streamed game, but um John and his team won yesterday. Congrats. Yay! Yeah, we got nice. our first four O. Yeah, by a landslide. Nice. Wrecked. That's awesome, guys. Congrats. I love watching uh when you're on Twitch because I'm like I know him. And people are just like, shut up. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Alas, but not least. Glad you guys came. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I'm Mark. Uh, my channel is Marky Gaming with my wife up there. Today's a special day for a different reason because nine years ago, I proposed to that woman. Oh, so cute. She agreed to be my wife. So it's Can special for a different reason. That's not a joke. Uh, it was not a joke. We yeah. did have a theory that it was an elaborate ruse. The whole engagement. We thought it'd be was. funny to like eventually <laughs> someday be like, "April Fools, guys, we're not actually together." <laughs> we never had a joke for you. Nine no. years <laughs> got you in the making. <laughs> <laughs> you all believed it like fools. <laughs> Perfect. You guys are adorable. Um, quick reminder. Um, Beacon's Aura on Sunday is going to be taking a hiatus for the next three weeks, so you want an own name product. I'm just going to keep the seat warm for everybody, and I'll be uh, streaming um, stuff. We'll figure it out. I'm going to have you guys decide. Um, I've been uh, I got different ideas mulling around, so we'll see. Um, and then if you uh, love the channel, so we have D&D here, we have D&D on Beacon's Aura, we have D&D on Ruined Keep on Fridays, 9 p.m. Um, amazing in the chat um, with his support. Uh, literary underscore DM, definitely go follow him. He was the one that was uh, streaming before us and rated. Amazing, amazing DM tips and everything. And so many more people. Join our Discord, uh, support everybody. We, I, I can't even name how many awesome people we have here. Um, and two quick shout outs for art that will be used tonight. Um, one will be Chili Draws. I'm really excited about. And the other one, um, Winston Johnson, who is uh, the one that does the art for Centaurium. So there might be some art for that as well. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited. I just had another. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I can't believe I almost forgot. Uh, not an April Fool's joke. Super excited to launch and let you guys know about the official opening of our merch store, y'all. <laughs> We're selling stickers. We're selling Nerd. mugs. We're selling mouse pads, t-shirts, the, the, the tank tops, the hoodies. It's fantastic. Um, but even better than that, something that I came up with that I'm really excited about. Um, the stickers that are done by artists. You'll see art done by blah blah blah. Um, the ones right now we have by Pit 400 Art, which are the official character arts. Um, I want to go and support the artists that work hard that want to do this. So right now, um. Uh, our Bardic, uh, Bardic Dice is going to be splitting profits with the artist. So going forward, if anyone wants to partner up with our channel as well, um, D, I know we've been talking about getting some of your art up on there. We have amazing artists in the stream. If you guys want to create stickers or art for the stream, we can do it a limited time run or we can keep it up there. We can talk. Um, that, yeah, I even did a Dungeon Daddy sticker because Simple <laughs> told me I had to. Um, that we will go ahead and support the artist as well. So I'm really excited about that. It's something I really wanted to kind of like find a way to do that. And also um, a second thing is we're going to keep on doing charity streams. Uh, this is not just a one-time thing. This is something I want to do throughout the year. Uh, I've been collabing with some other streamers and I think we'll do some one shots throughout the year that will be like main charity streams, but don't worry. You can still donate all throughout the year. Even when we're not in a charity stream, the donation bar below is going to be strictly for charity. So if you would like to donate your money and not have anything come out of Twitch or anything like that, don't worry, that money is going to be held just for charities. So just wanted to put that out there as well. Before we get excited, uh, get excited into tonight, I'm, I'm still there. Yeah. So yeah, it's going to be uh, super fun to see how this uh, goes into it. Um, the schemes to break the DM and, and 
players are getting more elaborate. I didn't even start it, guys. Like, really? Y'all are nuts. Anyways, so, as we enter into tonight's game of Fates United. So, we continue on top of the cliffside with our old man narrator. Seemingly taking a break, coming back to the children who are around him. All running up, tugging on his robe, waiting for him to continue on. Fine, fine, fine. Two down, two to go. We left off with Zachary being tempted by Sundavir, who we learned is an agent of the greater darkness, a being able and willing to deceive and tempt to its own agenda. Trying to persuade him to run away with Sasha, and then finding that unsuccessful, he appeared to him as a fake avatar, until at the very last moment, a womanly voice, Solus herself, spoke encouraging words to Zachary, revealing to him that the powers of the Chosen were in him all along. Zachary, making his choice, told her that he wanted to protect others and save his family. Letting the magic burst out of him, shining outwardly, he was able to repeal the darkness. And in turn, waking up the other three from their own fits of nightmares. After talking it over with Anais, the two Chosens decided to reveal what they have gone through to Meikai and Kaharanji. Returning to classes the next day, the week went forward fairly uneventful, as each representative settled into their new home and figuring out their priority in learning. As the week comes to a close, a daring adventurer seek to start looking into some of the strange occurrences happening around the Centaurium. It's late morning as we enter into tonight's game. Everyone eventually finding themselves to sleep. New things on your mind, revelations, responsibilities, what it means. I need everybody to roll me a d20. Fifteen. Nine. Seven. Two. Two. Tahu. There's a knock at your door. I don't know if you guys heard that or not. You did? Okay. Yeah, we we'll went through it. Cool. <clears throat> Morning. Can I help you? You open the door, and the door is filled with an orange aura of magic. I suddenly get sucked through. You feel your whole body your feet leaving the ground as you're now in a dark lonely forest you're by yourself what do you do uh is there what's the sky look like you look up the sky is red with pulsating clouds almost some strange energy this aura being pulsating through the sky what do I see around me you turn you have just walked out of a garage and there's a house some sort of building here and you turn around and there's Meikai and Anias and Zachary all laid out on the ground before you passed out I try nudging them awake. You all feel Kahu nudge you awake. As you wake up to this scene, you were last in your bed. Now waking up to this eerie forest, you hear in the distance <laughs> creatures in the dark starting to surround you from each side. A dark, looming figure 
stomping forward towards you. What do each of you guys do? Uh, get up. So is the last <laughs> thing we remember that we were in our beds, like asleep? Mm -hmm. Okay. Do I have my staff? Roll, d roll d20. Eight. Nope. Do I? Oh, can I roll if I have my dagger? If we have our weapons, sure, roll yeah. weapon check. <laughs> I got uh, it. Ten. Ten. You <laughs> reach around. You, you, you don't have much, but you feel a dagger in your back pocket. You said you got a nat 20? Uh huh. You guys see a nice step up and all of a sudden reach to her back and shh, with a blast of lightning, her whole glaive folds out. Oh, jeez. I, I rolled a 19. 19. You see, Kahu, you reach behind your back and almost as it materializes from a tattoo, you swing out a spear that buzzes in your hand. You now hear the surrounding dragon-like, bird-like sounds surrounding you, echoing in the dark night. A dark, large, booming figure in front of you. You hear gunfights. You hear, get away! Flashes of shadow. And a stop sign? Some elf thing with a stop <laughs> sign that, I don't know, he just got, like, knocked out by this thing and just is passed out on the ground. It was really weird. This figure now looms out. What do you guys do to prepare yourself? Be Wait, there, on guard. There's other people around us, right? There seem to be, but they all got slashed out and pushed down. The, the bullets ricocheting from one's gun doing nothing. The shadow magic blasting out from this young girl having no effect. The poor stop sign boy just being literally knocked uh, 20 feet against a tree and just knocked out cold. How close are those people to us? Uh, they were about 20 feet as this dark figure that it's looming about 20 feet high is just now starting to bend out of the trees. There's like a tree still covering its face as you're about to uh, it's about to come out towards you guys. Which one of those people look like they're in the most danger? Yeah, can I like heal one? Probably the drow. He's, he's looking gonna rough, but I'm they're gonna all gonna looking run over, rough. Run over to him, grab him, see if I can start dragging him sure. away. You do that, Mekai, what are you doing? Um... I don't know. Just staring, oh, I guess. Standing there frozen <laughs> in place, doesn't know what to do. And nice. what are you doing? Yeah, I mean, I think she would probably look super freaked out, but she sees all the people down, so I'll like healing word. The um, I'll roll a d. I'll roll a d. You're gonna save six. your own character. Yeah, I know. I'm like, wait, I'm not gonna wait. Oh wait, I forgot to judge it. I just rolled it. Uh. One, two is you Karis, see, you see, three, you, four you see is the girl, Ren. You see the girl uh, with the gun starting to just uh, open up her eyes and just cry out, run, everybody run, and just she starts running okay. in your direction. Uh, okay. Zachary, what are you doing? You hear the creaking of the, of the, of the, the large uh, tree start to break as this thing starts uh, making its appearance almost. So the drow is down. The drow is down, but uh, looks like Kahu has grabbed this drow because you're like a stop sign, um, to, or some strange red metallic shield that you guys don't know what it is. Yeah, I will run over and do cure wounds on him if he's down. Sure. He's faster than dragging him, so. Halfway from running, this creature then all of a sudden suddenly cracks the log. The log comes crashing down in front of you, separating the group out from each other. ha. <laughs> You cannot hide from me, for I am the Easter Bunny. And you see a whole white furred suit with big ears with dark red eyes as he launches out this fiery attack and all of you feel burned up alive. You wake up. Oh, April my God. Oh, right, be let's... right before I get hit, can I just be like, what's Easter? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. April Fool's. Oh, I got you guys. Oh, what? Well... There's our TPK. <laughs> Just kidding. Tonight's episode is called <laughs> Mysteries. So, Kahu, 
You do wake up out of this strange nightmare that you have. But it's a beautiful morning. The sunlight comes cascading in. What are you doing? As uh, it is now... Uh, do you guys want to skip right into the weekend? Or is there anything you guys wanted to do before? Because we we ended with our time skip last episode. So we went through a week of classes. Uh, discussions you guys had. But if there's anything you guys wanted to go back and do. RP this morning. Before you guys get into anything. Now would be the chance to do that. As you guys all kind of groggily wake up. Um, this can either be Friday afternoon or Saturday morning. Well, I know... Since I could not find her previously, I would like to find the queen and try to thank her. Sure. Yeah, she's been really hard to find this week. Um, but um, real quick, does anyone want to do anything on Friday? Or is this okay being like the Saturday morning? I just, I think at the end of the week, sometimes she'd want to talk to Bry. So Friday or Saturday, I don't care. Whatever's okay. easier. I would like a conversation with the dean as well at some point. Yeah. So. Um, we're gone. I had the weirdest dream. This thing called himself the Easter Bunny. That I don't even know what that means. That sounds it's ridiculous. Strange. You need to stop was... eating. I must have eaten something wrong. For Seriously, sure. for sure. Maybe it was a pocket cookie. Did you eat that plant leaf out there? I mean, sure, those things can go right to your brain, man. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> That's not the next thing. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll say it's early Saturday morning. Um, Zachary, you've been you've been looking out for uh, Sasha. Well, this thing's really hot. Um, <laughs> Not Sasha, but <laughs> that went my robe. Um, yeah, <laughs> uh, you've been uh, no. <laughs> you've been looking for Alana, <laughs> and uh, yeah. it's been really uh, tough to find her throughout the week. It's almost like she hasn't been here, um, but eventually you do find her uh, eating breakfast. Um, in the dining hall on Saturday morning. She looks really tired. Uh, hi. Hello, Zachary. Good morning. I've been looking all over for you uh, since we all went up to the mountain, but... Really? Well, I apologize. I've been busy. What can I do for you? Uh, I just wanted to thank you for coming. My sister's doing okay, so. Coming up the mountain? Yeah. You see her kind of like softened. She looked almost like annoyed or perturbed or distracted when you first came up. Oh. You're welcome. I mean, it's... I want to be a good queen if I didn't help out my friends, right? It means a lot. Thank you. Anytime. My ex is yours. I'm sure you would do the same for me. I mean, we're a team for the thing at the end of the month that I'm so excited for. I'm just as excited. Okay. Yeah. Well. We should at least get one practice in. I'm not trying to tell you guys everything you have to do that day. Oh, yeah. Uh probably do something like that at some point no d not her ass her axe <laughs> sure of course <laughs> oh man <laughs> it's gonna be a fun night guys um zachary yeah bit of advice sometimes it's good to take your head out of the book and realize the girls that are following you. You don't want to cause drama. What does that mean? You're quite oblivious, aren't you? Oh, I'm, I'm a smart guy. Okay. Well, have fun with that. You can figure it out then, big boy. What? <laughs> Look around for girls? <laughs> <laughs> Give me a perception check. Sasha's heavy breathing around the corner. Hey, I actually got 19. That's pretty good. There's Sasha on the other side of the room watching this conversation. Then she like looks down and starts eating. Oh. There's not much that you do around here that doesn't go unnoticed by her. And I've been gone 
I never realized that. Where did you go? I went back home. Is there trouble? No. It was the... It was the anniversary of my father's death. I wanted to spend time home with my family. I'm sorry. Okay. I'm sure it's really hard. Well, no worries being sad about it. I have to keep on moving on forward. But your sisters are doing well. I checked in on them. Katrina seems to be running around just as much as uh, Iris, I believe. Yes. That's good. Thank you. So, I don't know if you want to tell me, but are you and Sasha together then? No. What about me, you and Anias? You guys seem pretty close. No, we're definitely Bruce friends. Fair enough. Don't want to get distracted, of course, while we're here. Yeah. You see your eye over to Sir Car. No distractions. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Uh, I'll leave you alone now. Bye. <laughs> You're welcome. So, wander off. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, a nice. Um, you wake up and Rikaris has been kind of hard to catch. She's been doing a lot of classes with everyone, really tired, kind of oh, did you come back this weekend? I'll be I'll be free then, you know. Um, so he is now free up in the tower if you wanted to go have a discussion with him. Yes. Um, <clears throat> on my way over, um, Anais slips a note under Meikai's door. So whenever she wants to find that, that's fine. Perfect. Uh, we'll get to that <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> and, um, yeah, so she'll go try and find Brian, go to his office first. Okay. Also, hey, can I just say during the week, every night, I asked Lotha slash the storm, can I talk in my head with these stones or not? <laughs> and did I get an answer? Give me five wisdom checks, please. <laughs> As every single night you've asked. Yes. I'm going to start making okay. you do a divine intervention rolls for this one. <laughs> right? Okay, ten. You got to roll a two. <laughs> Seven for the second. Uh, I got to roll again. Um, Twenty for the third. Okay. Uh, eight for the fourth. Mm hmm And, uh, ten for the fifth. So, m Monday evening, the first evening of the night, there's silence. Quiet as you make this plea, this prayer. And right before you go to bed, you hear, just in the distance, a thunderclap, a rumble. <laughs> Tuesday, you hear nothing. <laughs> Wednesday, seems to be another summer storm. What cracks the thunder? Always after you ask, though. Thursday, nothing. And Friday, a torrential downpour of just trying to let you know what it knows and what you can stop asking now. <laughs> You get the idea. You, you get the idea it's in the affirmative. Okay. <laughs> Alright. I finally oh, know! You can talk in your head. <laughs> one, one crack for yes, two cracks for no. I've sunk in shit, so you will find out. <laughs> no, but yes, you do feel like it's in the affirmative. Uh, the knights that it didn't, you were kind of thinking, well, well maybe, maybe it'd be against my oath if I did, and you wouldn't hear anything. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, she's definitely ultra paranoid. She wanted to make sure this is, like, something that's okay before she does For sure, so. for sure. Okay, now we're gonna go see Bri. Perfect. Um, yeah, so you head up to the tower. Um, the tower does seem to be open. It kind of has, like, different, like, times on there for, like, class schedules and like for people to sign up to have one-on-one -on -one time as well as well as kind of like his group settings it seems that anir um has been one that's pulled him aside a few times 
um, and uh, um, uh, Carlos has been the two that really seem to be taking a lot of his one-on-one -on -one time. Uh, but you can easily open the door. There's almost like a, a downstairs uh, classroom-esque training area. But you know it well. You go up the stairs to the second floor. The second floor has a lot of um, storage space and, and uh, just devices that you're not quite sure what they're used for. And then the third floor is kind of like guest area and a few things. And then you get up to the top floor and then you can knock on the door. And, uh, oh, uh, yes. <laughs> oh, hold on one second. Coming right up. Ow. God, that hurt. God, okay. Just wait. Ugh. All right. He opens the door. Um, and you see the uh, little pup that has been passed around the centurium that no one really knows what to do with. And that it now seems to be Barcarius' night to watch Ranger. Um, it seems to be biting at his robe as he's trying to move on. Well, hi. Ah, hello. Nice. Huh. Pleasure. Play with the dog. Hey, how you doing? Huh. Oh. Uh, what can I do for you again? Um, she, um, she signs. Can I come in? But of course. Sure. Of course. Come in. Come in. I come in. I pat the dog. <laughs> gnawing on something um tries biting at your like fingers yeah. <laughs> it's grown a little bit um oh. yeah. she like signs is this yours now oh no not mm, mm, mm. no but it keeps on like scratching doors when it's left outside so uh every all the teachers are just you know taking care of it once tonight a few of the representatives even uh carlos tried to Said he shit his bed, so that's not happening. But anyways, that's not what you're here about. What are you here for? Um she signs Well Uh I was just wondering if you found anything with your research on your new stuff. Right. Come in. Uh and he walks over to a bookcase and he pulls down two books. One is your father's journal and one is seems to be one of his newest ones. There's a few other old cracked leathered binders up here and little different spell scrolls and things. Um, notes. Uh, but he comes down and he, I think this is yours. I am finished with it. She takes it and just kind of holds it. Sure. She signs, did you find anything else in here? I'm not quite sure. The father was a brilliant, brilliant man. It was, it was a wonder going back through and reading, reading his research again. It's almost like speaking with him on hours at end about his new finding and his my theory. Thank you for that. That meant a lot to me. I might have a lead. I'm not quite sure. I need to follow up on it. I was actually planning on taking a weekend sabbatical to one of the last dig sites that he had here and um, asking around. I'm trying to figure out this this fellow. He has any relation to the White Lotus or not. I would hate to tell you yes now and get you worked up on it, so. Um, she signs. Did. He didn't talk much about it. Did he just have to leave? Because. Like, why did he have to leave so suddenly, do you know? That's. That's when the White Lotus was attempting to. Gain control of the council. Your father was one of the last voting members to keep power in the hands of those who wanted us to remain together, united, to try and find a solution to the drought and not scatter into the wind. And there was a big movement of those who wanted to conquer, to fight for resources. So, your father was summoned back 
He, as you know, was ambassador ahead of your tribe. I should have gone. <laughs> should have gone with him. Signs you'd probably be dead too. Right? Maybe. <clears throat> Anyways. How are you doing? Are you settling in alright? I've seen you. You and Zachary seem to be talking a lot more lately. Um <clears throat> yeah, she just signs yeah, he's nice. We kind of decided to help look out for each other. Good. I'm really glad to hear that. Nice you. You don't need to keep on running here. It's okay for now to Relax is not the right word, but be yourself, find yourself. You have a lot to figure out, apparently. Kind of exciting, actually, if you get past everything else. You are chosen. <laughs> she, like, kind of, like, looks like a little this way. <laughs> um... Uh, Zachary seemed to be asking very pointed questions. He didn't. He didn't find out, did he? She nods. <laughs> oh. He's not going to tell anybody, is he? She shakes her head, and she signs. Um. He thought it was cool. So he's not one of those cool. people that you were worried about that they would hate it. I think. Just be careful. Sometimes in our excitement we do tell people and word gets out and just trying to keep it protected. That's all, dear. She signs, yeah, I, I don't want really much, many people to know, but I'm not a good liar. So when he asked <laughs> me, I just kind of stared at him. Yeah. <laughs> we <were> like, <laughs> yeah. Um, this whole time you've seen him He's seems to be a lot on his mind, but he seemed to have walked over to kind of the table, like nightstand, almost like a bookcase with shelves, and had different pictures on it. Um, and there's one with a younger elf boy. But he kind of just like he's absentmindedly seems to gravitate towards as he's talking to him. Ah, it's. Just want to make sure I keep you safe. I think you're the only thing keeping me sane right now. She signs. I'm glad I have you too. I just, I'm sorry. I just don't really have much to say. I just don't really know what to do. It's nothing to say. What can you say? They're gone. We can't bring them back. But I can barely or she signs I can barely even think about it. Damia. But don't let their memories fade as it's too heartful to think of them. You you are the chosen. You don't want this grief to come back up to you in a moment of crisis when you need it. Sometimes the only way to get past the numbness and the pain is to lean into it. Remember the good times. Keep them close to you. Remember what they taught you. Let that shine out from you as you go forward. And he hands you a photo. That this is my son. And the only reason why I'm it. still smiling and trying to stay happy and is he was. He was a friend to everybody and made friends with whoever he was around and 
trying to keep his memory alive by doing that here. And I just kind of like, you know, like looked at the picture and is kind of like studying his face and then she just kind of signs like, I don't know, Bri, you might be braver than me. I don't know if I can, I don't know if I'm brave enough to think of them too much. He kneels down, kind of like to get to your level. Nias, I'm the one stuck up here lonely in a tower, hiding himself from the world. Not doing anything to stop the lightness. You're the one out here trying to become stronger. Being a chosen. You're very brave. Probably one of the bravest people I've ever met. <laughs> she like puts her own like. Uh, she seems like she doesn't know what to say. She just is kind of like. Um, I stands back up and it's kind of just letting you just be in the moment, and not have to say anything. Mm -hmm. Um, she just says, um, thanks. Signs it. But of course. Anytime. Send you the sending stone. I'm always here. If you need me. And she says I can use it now. I decided. <laughs> what do you mean? You could you could have used it this whole time. She signs. I didn't know if it was cheating. <laughs> Dear. It's not. These your vocal cords. They're, they're different. I understand, though. I get it. I understand. But... She signs it. Would it be an awkward, though, if it was cheating and I just did it? I think just... I think you would understand intentionality. Maybe a little warning shock if you did it again. <laughs> <laughs> she does kind of, like, smile a little bit. That is a great idea. He looks down at the dog. A collar that would shock them. Hmm. Just very little bit of shock, just not enough to hurt, just enough to be like, no, can't do that, you know? Hmm. I like that idea. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to <laughs> look into that one. Shock on um, this cannon. She signs Did you find anything on chosen stuff? Any books I should read? I'm sorry, dear. I mean nothing more than you've seemed to have known yourself. Just very generic. History and legends and things. Nothing specific. I would speak with one of the Inquisitors when they get back. They're a little bit more well versed. I mean, I believe. I think they're going out to the ancient temple now, is what I heard. I mean, Just sends in the mountain? I uh, know, in the desert, actually. South, beyond, uh, actually, quite close to where your friend Kaharanji is from. The... Since why? I'm not sure. They always do this. They artifact chase or go and stop things that are threats to peace and humanity. I don't know. Let's see. Does his best Varys impression. Who knows? I'm sure they'll be fine. It's nothing important. That the temple's been abandoned and laid waste for years now. Once the dwarves were. Unfortunately, what's the word? As they slowly left from the face of time, so did the economy and the area around it. It's laid desert waste there, so many have studied the temple. There's really nothing there, just that's one of the first temples to the Ancient One. One of the ley lines that we found. You see that in your father's research. The ley line that we found near the volcano was very powerful in the cat's eye store of crystals. Um, yeah, she just looks like she's like kind of tracking with him. Um, 
and then she signs, would you find crystals of it there, too? Hmm. I mean, in theory, I, I would assume. I have not done much study there, and actually might be a great chance to go see, but I've not heard of anybody that has brought back crystallines from there, no. That is a great theory in mind. The The temple is... This theory is that there's more deeper levels that are kind of been locked off. Kind of, um, what's the word? Uh, caved in, sort of. So we're not quite sure. Um, and I was just uh, signs. So you're going, you're going this week. Um, I'm, I'm not going? quite sure. I'm probably after the big skirmish. Uh, she signs. So it'll be a little bit. It might, and probably be about two weeks. But. And to worry, totally safe. I will go checking at home and then checking at the sites. Maybe we'll get some more information about your father and what's happening. And under the, I mean, I am still trying to fix this drought, so that's kind of my ruse, guys, if you will. That you know, we're leading the charge, for research. She signs. So you have some time to prepare to be extra careful. Of course. Of course, dear. Totally safe. <laughs> she looks like she's not sure if he's, like, being pretend confident or not. He seems pretty... <laughs> he doesn't seem worried about this place, no. Okay. So, um, she'll say... Or she'll sign, um, I guess we're gonna go do something about a, a quarry or, or something, so I'm gonna go, I think. Oh, well, have fun. Uh, is this gonna be with you and Zachary and the friends? Good, good, good. Continue to make friends, explore relationships, you know, for the future, of course, you know, political relationships. <laughs> she just kind of, like, squints at him. He blushes. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, you know what I mean. <laughs> So, yeah, she just, um, she, like, holds up the stone, and then she says in her head with the stone, uh, okay, see you later. <laughs> <laughs> Better good. I don't know why I sounds heard that voice. Kind of heard mental voice. I wonder if it's different. Mental voice just sound different than, that's something, I'll, I'll look into that as well. Ah, it's an experiment to make. <laughs> All right. Anyways, get going. Get, go, go, go. Uh, she leaves. There's a there's a smell that just starts radiating from the room. They're starting to leave. It's foul. All of a sudden, as you close the door, dang it, Ranger! Not again. <laughs> um, but yeah. So you leave as you're walking down. Uh, Makai, what are you doing this morning? Not taking care of that dog. Um, <laughs> shirking responsibilities. I heard somebody um, gave him pocket cookies. And now he's just hushing all over everything. It's disgusting. Um, I probably am just keeping it simple. Um, having breakfast and just kind of hanging out. That's. Nothing I mean, really if special. people are, if, no, if people want to, like, engage in conversation with me, then I'll, like, reciprocate, but otherwise I'm kind of just low-key. So why are you yeah. sitting here alone? You had a note from Anias, too. Oh, yeah, you got a note from Anias. Oh, that's right! I wanted to read that note! Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> Carlos doesn't say anything to you yet. <laughs> it's... It's literal. It's very, very short. But all it says is, "Hi, thank." You. Oh, huh? Hi. No, <laughs> no. We're gonna keep doing crossover. No. Um. It it says, "Uh, thanks again for the clothes you bought me. I'm gonna try to find a way to repay you. That's good." <laughs> it just says, "Anais." <laughs> That's cute. Um, okay. Alright, so Got a little love letter there, that's cute 
is just a thank you. Yeah, I was thinking British, and now yeah, okay, never mind. So um, what, I mean, you know, Asians are hard. Oh, that's what I've heard. They are. Um, no, I had gotten close for Anais when I went down, so she was thanking me. Oh, yeah, hey, not to judge, you know, it's fine. If you want to be together, I'm not gonna, hey, I think that's great. We have a lot of that down in uh, Trotting, actually. Yeah, it's, uh, it's amazing. Very, very open. I like it. Very progressive. A lot of love yeah. down in Trotting. Of course, everyone's, you know, they've, just, you know, no stopping it. Yeah. So you and a nice then, yeah? That's cute. No. No. Oh. Well. I don't, I don't. I don't need anybody. I don't want anybody. It like spins the chair. Really? So what? What is stopping you from loving? Myself, I guess. That is deep. That is deep. I like it. That's a good one there. It's very good to be into perspective. I... Yeah. Um... When is your wedding? Wedding? Oh no. Yeah. Uh, wait, nothing planned yet. Uh, apparently I get to go back, so uh, you know, not trying to uh, do anything here. You know, don't, nobody's here to uh, you know to plan a wedding with, so I uh, gotta go. All right, see you later. Goodbye. It would be really, it would be really fun to see it. I like freezes. <laughs> Ocean joke. Look, oh right, Ocean joke. See, right, not actually see the person I'm with because she's not here. Don't worry about it. Okay, see you later. Is the guard around? His guard? He like walks away. Uh, perception check. Mm, Fifteen. You see him literally eyeballing his guard who's at the entrance and the guard just going. And then just him just like bolting out past the guard, not saying anything. Can I go up to the guard? Sure, the guard looks like he's just just about to turn to, you know, to follow after. Uh, I have a question. Excuse me. Um, you see, it's why a is... very silver and light blue um, face fully covered. We can see the eyes underneath with almost like a seaweed type wrap coming down. Almost like a, you know, like a Roman gladiator has it like the feather thing. Um, mm -hmm. the armor kind of like with a cape draped over one half. Very regal looking. Um, but you can't see any sort of face underneath. Um, I just wanted to ask, why is, uh, your, um, your charge always very skittish and just runs? Is this like some state secret? Is, I mean, is it a touchy subject? What? Uh, do not know what you're talking about. Oh, I do. He just freezes. I just want to make sure. Am I? Am, is that? Is that something I shouldn't be talking about? I guess. I did not overhear your conversation. I'm sure you didn't. Okay. Is there anything else I can help you with? It's very Oops. stiff. See you later. I'm gonna turn and leave. Just nods and bolts the other direction. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Anything else you wanted to do? We're just kind of like hanging out in the dining room area. For I everyone. really want to follow them and see if they talk to each other, but they might. Mm, yeah. Sure. Yeah. I want to do that. All right. I'm gonna. Check. I'm gonna stalk them. And a stealth check. Okay. So. First one was a so perception sure. is uh was also a fifteen and stealth was a fourteen. Okay. There's for a moment where the guard stops, turns its head, and you like duck behind the statue real quick. Mm-hmm. And then the guard continues forward. God, you guys are insane. I just looked at my anyways. Um Jeez. Uh, uh, da, 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 da. Um, the guard continues forward and starts heading back over to the the residence hall. And you follow in. 
and kind of like just leaning at the the door um kind of looking in there's no one else there but the guard and then you just hear call us i'm so i'm sorry i didn't know what to say i was I, I, i'm sorry so oh please forgive me i don't know I, I don't think she knew anything and that's pretty much it all you can hear at the moment the rest is kind of like muttered whispering you probably have to like i'll keep yeah, you'd have to either wait or try and get closer to hear anything I'll keep trying to listen. Is there, I mean, is is it feasible or does it look like I'm going to be spotted if I, like, get closer? Um, it'd be pretty hard to sneak in without being seen. Yeah. 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 Um, I'll just keep trying to listen and focus. Sure. Um, you wait about another five minutes or so and you kind of hear them, like, talking back and forth. And Carlos is, like, looking around. Look, I'm sorry. I didn't know what to do. But, I mean, we're here now to get... I mean, we really could plan a wedding. I think that's kind of cute. And you, you, the, the guard's, like, facing away from you, so you can't really hear anything. And uh, you just kind of hear... Ro, ro, yeah, I get it, I get it. Ro, after we get back, that's fine. I know we're not really supposed to be... I know you're not even supposed to be here. Well, I love you. We're all right. I'll find a way to make sure we can stay together. That's why I'm here. Alright. It's okay. Alright, look. Anyways, really important. I really think something's up here. And then, right before you're about to hear anything, you hear a tap on your shoulder as you were facing the other way and someone came up behind you that looked like they're about to head into the residence. Planning another king to kill. Who? Who is it? You turn around and Sir Carr is just standing there. A natural 20 perception. <laughs> no. And the first one wasn't plotted. Mm. Doesn't matter. Heads roll. Funerals happen. You still get the nickname, don't you? Trying to kill more royalty? Or am I no. next little one? You're not worth it. <laughs> no. Stop sneaking around. It's weird. Stop being creepy. Creepy? I like to say it's charming. Doesn't come off that way. Yeah, he, uh, he kind of goes to put like a little like, you know, do the little like hand under the chin thing. Like, don't worry, you're not my type. Yeah, no. Hmm. I'm truly excited to see how we all fare during the skirmish. Maybe yeah, we'll are you going to... Am I gonna have to, um, you know, drag your body off of the field like the uh, mountain? Well, that was unforeseen circumstances. You were lucky to get out of there alive. I took one of those down by myself. I'm just saying you might want more training. Are these more legends that you're fluffing up, just like the King Slayer stories we've heard? That's not something Taking down that I... the whole legion one by one. Single katana blade that struck 20 guards down in one blow. Really? Do you really believe that that... That I believe that that's going to be you after you show up here? I don't want fame or fortune or anything. I just want to be in the back. Sure. Juno's my friend, you know. So. What? I knew him. We trained together. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna go. And if I find a giant stick, I will be sure to give it to you. Looks like you need more. And I'll walk off. I'm just standing there watching you. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Kahuranji, what are you doing? Ergon's taking you to the dining area and you guys eat for a little bit, but uh, you got anything planned for today, big buddy? Um, we were aware that the queen was in charge of our group for the skirmish, correct? Mm -hmm. It's been really hard to find this week. Like, almost impossible to find. 
Let's see if I can find her today, because I know we're going to be heading out soon for the uh, trip. Sure. Did you guys go directly to the dining area when you woke up? Yes, I would have. Okay. You see Zachary walking out of the dining area, but you can see uh, Queen Alana, uh, Alana Terrace, uh, sitting there, her red hair, the golden like little tiara thing that goes uh, behind her ear, red cut robes, a little bit more casually worn, not as regal as she had been before, but her hair is kind of like up in a tight knot. Okay. Um, yeah. just kind of go get her, big guy. You like that's not this for kind of five. conversation. Where okay, <laughs> <laughs> all right, you got this. Um, excuse me, uh, Alana. Oh, hello. Um, good morning. Uh, do you have a moment? Apparently, we said. I mean, it is up to you. I'm sorry. I was, I was deep in thought, and I just talked to someone else. Anyways, yes, please sit. Um, Kahu Ranji, I believe. Is that right? That is correct. Pleasure to meet you. I was told um, you're going to be on my team for this skirmish. It sounds like that is how things are working out, yes. Fantastic. It'd be good to have a um, defensible wall. On our team. I'll do the best I can, but I can't guarantee anything. I'm not worried about you. I think that there's the need for our group to get some practice in before that time hits. From what I've heard, all of you have been putting yourself through the ringer in the armory from what I've back uh individual practice with a little bit of paired practice yes but i'm talking about a situation where we are going to need to deal in unexpected and be able to work together in a more coordinated fashion right strategy of course war strategy yeah. you're a Former soldier? Current soldier? Unsure where I land on that at the moment, but former for sure. I know some of the Kalashtar soldiers are quite formidable. You know, um, New Organi has been quite uh, desiring to stay allies with them. Were you in some of the Great Wars, then, with the Dwarves? I was there against the dwarves, yes. Well. It was a interesting affair, to say the least. I can't imagine. My father fought the plan... in the early wars. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Um, I... Nothing, it's, it's nothing. No, you're, you're speaking of your father. My father was fought alongside the Kalistar early on in the war. Probably before our times, but... It was a long, protracted one, was it not? It was. To see a whole land of people be obliterated off the map. Just because they couldn't come to terms, find peace before blood was shed. Something I think about a lot. It is a sad state to see that... Some would not seek to bind ties and would rather sever. It's my desire to bond ties myself. But anyways, I think that's the past. I look forward to having your skill set on the field. Uh, I believe if you just tell everyone to listen to me, I am quite trained and adept and War strategy myself, but I will lead everyone quite efficiently, I believe. Well, if you want an opportunity to kind of work with us, I think I was planning on trying to grab some of the other members of the group and head out past the town. And the blacksmith says that there's been some issues down in the quarry area. And we were going mm -hmm. to go and take a look there and 
Who knows, there might be an opportunity there where we might need to test our skills. Hopefully not, but it sounds that it may be a situation where we need to. It's a busy weekend. Seems to be a lot more trouble around here than first led to believe. I believe a Neon and Sarkar are taking some of the others down to the farmstead to investigate more down there, actually. I'm actually busy this weekend, unfortunately. Um, but if you get some more information and we get some more free time, I'd be glad to offer my assistance. Fair enough. Alana, do you ever... Feel like you have to do the things you've been placed into doing? Well, that's definitely a deep one there. Oh, the lights around here. It's beautiful. Um, I, I used to feel that way. I felt that my father was taken away too soon. And that it was forced upon me to be ready for this. Instead of letting me take time to learn who I am, do what I want to do. But I've found that there's rewards and responsibility. So many people that we can help. So many wrongs that we can make right. It is a responsibility, but a responsibility to protect and to keep those safe in my kingdom. I embrace it. Why do you ask? I wasn't the one meant to come here initially. And yep. I was the one that was sent because responsibility shifted in a way that was unexpected. But why your sister didn't come? She was the one I was expecting. That is why she did not come. Well then. She puts out her hand. That should meet you then, officially. Chief to be. I am Queen to be Alana. Put out my hand to shake hers back. Kaharangi. If you're willing, I would not mind learning a few things about leadership. If you're willing to share them. When you have time, of course. Of course. I don't know what I could teach you, but I'm always here to offer my insights, and I truly hope to continue the relationship with the Kalistra people. I don't want a repeat of what happened before. The hope is we can build a better world. I think it's up to us, right? I mean, Chosens haven't been seen for 20-something years. And even the last ones were corrupted. Who knows what darkness would do to ones that appear today? The question is, is it the gods that make the Chosens, or is it us as individuals who choose to forge the path? I don't care. I make my own path. But to me, it sounds like you are one who chooses to forge the path and not wait on others to tell you. Probably the most accurate summary anyone's ever made of me. New Organia will not rely on the Chosens to save us. This world needs us to rise up not rely on four people, seven people, whoever. But rather, to 
kingdoms themselves have to be better to protect their own. Oh, if the people do come, if those for some reason are brought back, then let's do our best to make sure that darkness does not win. I think it is up to us individually to tread the correct path. There may be power in the Chosens, but against the Dwarves it wasn't. They, they had the better armor, they had the better skills, at least compared to my people, but it was the willingness to work together that led us to conquer in that fight, that I was in at least. It's too much loss. But it seems wherever the Chosen's rise, glorious darkness comes to find them. It's an interesting question, is it not? Do the Chosen's rise because the darkness comes? What does the darkness come because the Chosen's rise? Either way, the darkness arrives, Are they two arise, sides right? of the same coin? Either way, the darkness still comes. Take the Chosen's out of the equation, maybe the darkness won't. Perhaps, but even if you take the, cho the Chosen's have been gone for how long? And yet, I've still seen wrongdoing in my life. Sure. But we haven't had these massacres and wars. Been quite peaceful without them, hasn't it? Why so curious about the Chosen's? Trying to understand their role. It's part of the reason we got brought here. Hmm. Some believe there might be chosen among us. I doubt that. But whether there are or not. Again, I think it's up to us and how we move forward. Very wise, Chieftain. I believe you have the first steps of leadership quite down very well. I know how to ask questions more than I know how to answer them properly. <laughs> but it makes me think. I should probably learn to do a little bit more myself. I look forward to your leadership on the field. Come find me before the skirmish. We'll, we'll make time. Or everyone else. I will do that. What's the phrase? We're only as strong as our weakest link. Some bullshit like that. I believe that has to do more with blacksmiths. <laughs> Me too. Anyways, I must go. I uh, have a car. I'd meet him in the tavern. I appreciate your willingness to talk. Anytime. And then I'll excuse myself and head off to go eat some food. Nice. <laughs> All right. Yeah. How'd it go? It was a good conversation. My man. All right. Deeper than I expected it to be, but a good conversation. I can see it. I can see it. I think she digs you. <laughs> I don't think I need to worry about that. I think that silent one really likes me. The uh, the armored one. St. Joe, uh, you know, uh, Martha, something like that. She keeps sure on looking she... at me. Mm. I'm sure she gives you the puppy eyes very often. <laughs> Who wouldn't, right? <laughs> That's a fair statement. <laughs> But yeah, you guys uh, settle up in the dining area. Zachary, as you leave the dining area, you do see the stairs to the dean's office, if you so wish to go speak to him. Yeah, real quick. Sure. 
This door is actually cracked open a little bit when you get up there. Oh my gosh, my mustache is ticking my nose. Oh man, this guy's a mustache ticking his nose. <laughs> you just see like a um like a, a carpenter like squire that was working on the things like oh my mustache gah. okay Knock. uh men i walk in close the door zacharias good morning could be zacharias and then what it's short for no Zachary. Zachary. my apologies I thought it was celestial and being Zachariah. It went, anyways. It's, it's okay. <laughs> um. So I've been doing research and studying like we're supposed to, and um. Mm-hmm. I remember previously when we talked, you had mentioned how you have been affected by the darkness, and I was just curious. If you could share more about that with me. Sure. He goes to sit down behind his desk. Puts out his hand for you to sit in front of him. Um, what specifically do you want to know? Like, just whatever you'd like to share about how it affected you, what role it played, anything. If we're fighting it, I think it's good to know kind of stuff. Persuasion check. Twenty-two. All right. Darkness is inevitability. Darkness is immortality. It seems to be the outbearing and opposite force that the Ancient One and the Avatars are. But darkness has an echo of corruption that seems to reach beyond the mortal veil in ways the ancient one no longer can and the affinities don't seem to bother doing or can't the darkness corrupts beings creatures i believe the darkness feeds on our very own weaknesses But it seems that through every generation, the Chosen seem to rise and keep it at bay. Whether they succeed seems to have longer times of peace, and when they fail, darkness's reach seems to get stronger over the land more powerful and he goes um, and you've known he wears this robe that covers his other arm and he goes to reveal it and you see this arm that's atrophied and deadened and stuck to him almost it's unfunctional to him can also affect you physically. I had my own tie-in with darkness. And it ripped everything away from me. But this is the scar that it can leave when you try and fight it. It's always worth fighting, though. Kind of covers up his arm again. How did it do that to you? Like, was it a creature or was it?
There is something, a monster or a creature. No one really knows, but call it darkness is shadow incarnate. It's a great beast of darkness that rises and can obliterate towns. civilizations luckily it hasn't been seen quite some generations but it seems every time the chosens rise and gather it awakens this beast This is what it did to me. So, you say quite some generations. Did it rise 24 whatever years ago? It did. This was the last time it was seen. Why so many specific questions, Zachary? You have nothing to fear here. There are no chosens. There are none rumors or legends that are gathering. Darkness will be at bay for some time longer. Why are you we worrying? We can't stay here forever, right? That's true. So, so even if there is no threat here, we need to be ready. I see a lot of myself in you. Good. Well, we could be the ones to fight the darkness, even if the Chosens don't come or become corrupted. It could be even better if the Chosens don't gather. We can unite, rely on our own allies, our own powers. There are things out there that can fight the darkness that even is beyond the chosen. So you don't like the chosen? I wouldn't say I don't like them, but like I said, the more they gather, the stronger the darkness gets. And the more they're targeted by this creature. Is it worth having heroes rise for their own glory if the collateral is civilization's death that follows them in their wake? My theory is that we can find this creature at its weakest form before the Chosens come back. We might have a chance to beat it. I'm curious. If there is this resentment towards the Chosens and feeling that they should be gone for the best hope. Why are they so celebrated here? Why are there symbols all over the place? Why are there four statues in the garden? Why have that? Hope and symbols and still and still can can still instill greatness from people there are the inquisitors people who volunteer their life to good because they were inspired by the chosen of generations i'm not saying they can't do good 
They've done their good. If, if they gather again, fears this creature will rise. Symbols, symbols and history and the things of the past. That can be inspirational. It can keep people calm, believing in peace. <laughs> Many people found out the truths of the darkness and what I just told you. There'd be much panic across the land and Many civilizations wouldn't trust each other. Why are there only four statues in the garden? So like there's spots for the others. You're a smart boy, Zachary. There have only been four Chosens that have risen a generation. Quite some time. Only Origin four? Hmm? Originally were seven. The Avatars. And they chose the champions. Ever since that... first fight against darkness that those seven had... It's not quite known exactly what happened to all of them. That was the last time seven champions rose. Since then, only four have risen every time. And that's why I don't believe they're strong enough to defeat the darkness. Four against all of darkness? When it was meant to be united by the Seven. That's why they failed in the past. That's why they'll continue failing. I'm tired of seeing death. Anyways, is there anything else I help you with today. Zachary, you've asked quite a lot. I'm very impressed. I think you have quite some potential. Maybe when you guys have all found yourselves, you and I could work together to defeat this darkness. Um, I'm going to start to rise to get up and like turn my back to them. You have your him. staff with you? I believe so. Yeah. And I would like to cast guidance on myself and just say a quick little prayer and then turn back to him. And say, uh, sir, um, forgive me if this is rude, but many people have lived a full life lo missing a limb. How is losing an arm losing everything? What is, what else did you lose? Persuasion check. With that guidance? <laughs> Come on. Oh, yeah. 19 on the die, plus 6, plus 3. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> what was that, like a 28? <laughs> Is that a 19 on the die? 19 on the die, plus, eight, or plus 9, so 28, yeah. Total. See him looking over to the corner. Before you saw banners and armor and weapons and very ornate items. But there in the corner you see on the simple nightstand a pitcher. A 
of a woman in a wedding dress. Him, the dean, younger looking, in a suit and tuxedo. Both hands, both arms, undamaged. Sometimes those that keep us grounded can be taken away from us. I believe you would understand more than anyone, Zachary. Pain of living, fa losing family. Have a great day. I'm sorry. Okay. Now you understand how dangerous the darkness could be. I do. And that's why I think we need everybody who's willing to fight it to be on the same team. And I'll walk out. <laughs> Close the door. I will message you um, what the woman looks like. That is for your player. So sounds good. All right. Some heavy hitting RP moments already, y'all. All right. So you guys all gather. The morning. The morning dew slowly starting to drop. The sun starting to rise in the morning. It's early morning, a couple hours before noon. The day is yours. Is there anything else anyone wants to do? <laughs> Hi. Do, what do we have a time we're leaving? Because if you, Amara, you're wonderful. If there's any free time before we leave, I'll sit down with that book that I was given about the the chosens. So. Sure. Um, there is no set time that you guys have made, so if you want to... I'll just sit by the road on the way down to... One of my favorite I... names, Pizza Time TMNT, sorry. <laughs> That's amazing. I would have checked with, um, the Forge Master. I'm trying to remember the name here. Garrick Stone. Yeah, I would have checked with Garrick Stone before sure. the weekend hit to find out roughly how long of a trip it would be to get down to the quarry. Yes. Uh, well, haven't really been there myself much, but anytime I ask one of the squires to go down and collect items before the quarry closed, it only took a day or so. I'm pretty sure it's just a uh, an hour or two away from the town, I'd presume. Got this thick draw to him. The plan for a fairly full day trip to get down and back then. I'd say so. I'd say so, depending on... I mean, if you're just asking questions, uh, I'm sure you can make it back in time. Good enough. Um, <laughs> I would have... Go ahead. Uh, just keep your eyes open for uh, anything nice and shiny if you find it. I like to have fun when I make weapons. I can do that. I would have disseminated that information before Saturday. Sure. To the party. Do you guys set upon a time? Like, is that something you guys are planning on going down today and making a day of it today? I mean, I think we would probably just decide morning-ish, right? So we had all yeah. to figure it out. Yeah. Yes. Perfect. Yeah. You guys uh, then, it's about now that you guys decide, you know, to all meet up. You guys are done with your conversations and make sure to get those done ahead of time. It's about... Get some, some supplies 
Get supplies, Food. get a shield, and some additional weapons. Okay, sure. And you guys take your time to repair. It's about, I'd say, 9.30, 10-ish now. Maybe a few minutes after as you're gathering the supplies. Anything else specific you guys are going to look into or for? And I'll read the book till everyone's ready to go. Sure. I'd say you'd have about an hour. Um, but which book were you reading? The one about the chosen, not the 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 book of the unnamed one that Kahu gave me. Sure. Um, intelligence check. What'd you come across? A dummy's guide to girls <laughs> and flirting. Um, Seventeen. <laughs> Seventeen. Nice. Um, it quickly starts just to talk about um, in the first kind of story and stuff goes to talk about a goliath archer a male um that was one of the unnamed chosens that's pretty much as far as you got um we're starting to talk about the region it was from and some of the things that in known to history what this goliath has been a part of different wars um and it talks about the great darkness um, when darkness rose up with creatures almost from the ground. And that's about all you can get. There's there's more to it, but... Um, Is there an affinity tied to this Goliath I get? I haven't quite gotten to that yet. Okay. Well, you guys all uh, meet up, and I see you head back down from the tower. Kahu, you're decked out with shields and weapons and make high you have rations and different supplies on you as well you see zachary just sitting on the front steps reading um hi hi i'm surprised we didn't have to take you from your room zach because oh okay It's nice. So, how's everybody's uh, day been? I mean, day's pretty early on still. It's been good so far. Did you get enough food, Kahu? It'll give me by for now. I'll kind of like motion that I have a bag and then pat my pocket. I have more cookies. <laughs> Good to know. Is everyone ready? No, just not. Yeah. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Watch each other's backs. Uh, Mark, I sent you a message in your private channel with the description real quick. Uh, but yeah, you guys make your way down to, uh, heading your way down towards Rosewood. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. Sure thing. Uh, you make your way. Uh, make your way. Sorry. Go to crawl. Uh, <laughs> sorry. And then uh, your way down towards Rosewood. Um, and uh, why don't make I give me a d20 roll? Um, four. <laughs> sure enough, as you guys are all running down, you see a familiar. Riviere, uh, young, uh, not tiefling, uh, water genasi girl. I was gonna say tiefling. Wait, <laughs> push, pushing a cart up the mountain or up the hill, kind of almost to the centurion as you guys are leaving. She hasn't quite seen you guys yet. I'll kind of like motion to her to everybody else. <laughs> I will recognize it, but as we walk by, I'll just kind of give her the girl a nod and be like, Miss. Yeah. Yeah, not harassing her this time. <laughs> any interaction from any of you? Like wave. I, yeah. was, I, I would want to watch her and see what her face is like as we, like, kind of, like, wave mm -hmm. at her and stuff. Uh, you can give me a quick inside check. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, yes, please. Ooh, 24. Oh, oh I'm rolling nuts tonight. And I have a uh, 
19. 19. All right, both of you guys. All of a sudden, just see her. She's like whistling to herself. And then all of a sudden, sees you goes, Ugh. <laughs> And then doesn't say anything to you. She, okay. Like, so she still hoping sees. That, hoping that yeah. you, you don't, don't say anything to her. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I just keep walking. <laughs> yep. <laughs> she seems to have uh, like food and stuff for the kitchen. Oh yeah, your uh, the rest of your trip is pretty uneventful. Um, Kahu, you can sense a few times your your like senses ping uh, to like a bird that flies off and like a rabbit um, in the in the like a bush, you know things like that um, with your blind sense. Mm -hmm. But uh, nothing else. Anything grabs your attention as you guys make your way uh, down to Rosewood. You guys are free to um, do whatever you want in Rosewood or ask around for information or whatever pleases you. I mean, we need to find out exactly where the quarry is at and what's been happening over there. Mm -hmm. Let's see if our map is Should we try to just find someone off, off the streets or should we ask that tavern okay. person because he seemed to welcome us all right? You might be a good start. Yeah. Um, so I'm posting a picture by um, Winston Johnson in the Discord, which is the art Ooh. for Rosewood. Um, I wanted to put in Roll20, but when I made a battle map, I made it this way. And so I had to turn everything because I realized it doesn't work with the boxes I have. So now, yeah, anyways, things are just messed up this week, so... I'll post it in the Discord if anyone wants to see it and follow along. It'll be under the Fates United Dash World section for you. So, yay! Um, all right. So, what are you guys doing? Uh, I think going to the tavern and uh, trying to get in from there. Uh, to the before tavern. we go into town, Anais puts her hood back up because she doesn't want people to see the elf thing. Sure. Did you bring your glaive with you? It I have my cool glaive on my back and I have my glaive I'm actually using in my hands. Double glaive in it. Double glaive in it. <laughs> I'll lock it. I'll lock it a little. Alright. Glaive. Uh, the town seems pretty busy today. There's a large ship that has come into the port and so you see a lot of trade happening. A lot of off-pouring of crates um there's another one that's of, of like just ending the the um the catch of the day for the fish um but you guys all head to the tavern is that right yes okay yeah nice is just following the other two's lead on this one um you seem to have uh left before alana and sir car as you guys walk in you don't quite see them there um but you do see carlas there who is uh over in the corner, like, uh, there's, like, the perennial drunk guy that's always here, like, long beard, missing teeth. And, uh, mm -hmm. they're, like, over in the corner, and he's like, yeah, hey, all right, yeah, so what do you do? You sleep it down, and you drink, all right. And he's, like, seemed to have, like, drinking games with this guy. He's having fun with it. Um, but there's also, uh, um, the bartender that recognizes you and goes, well, welcome in. Come on in. Thanks. Appreciate you coming in. It's a slow day, but, uh. Neeson's my name. Drinks are my game. I don't know. The kids around here have been saying something about Tavern Guardian or something, but I, I just... I don't know. Y'all weird. But uh, come on in. Fair game. Appreciate what you did last time. Drinks are on me. Uh, um... Mm -hmm. Much appreciated. Uh, coming with some questions, though. Sure, sure, sure. It's a little too early to drink for me right now. I, it's never too early to drink. Needed a morning drink? I got a uh, got a new little uh, juice, uh, you know, little recipe I can come up with here for you. Uh, we have more questions than thirst. <laughs> I mean, it's really all right. Fine, sure. If it's not alcoholic juice, well, that's no fun. Sure. Oh, I don't want to get buzzed before noon. Yeah, I mean, no, 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 no one wants to get buzzed in the mo in the morning. It's not good. You gotta see Carlos like one eye like already closed a little bit. 
Um, Carlos, I have some questions for you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh, it's my cue. Got to go. I think the tail has been looking for me. And you see him like he's uh whips out the the, the back door. Um, but uh, Neeson kind of turns and says, "All right, fine." And goes around and uh, squeezes some fruit for everyone. Non-alcoholic. Whatever. And, like downs his. <laughs> Definitely alcoholic. Nice, like, slides how, money across the table. How much do I own for that? The juice. <laughs> uh, it's on me. It's juice. She, it's fine. She leaves the, the coin on the counter. All right. Well, come on. What kind of information do you need? I'm running a business here. It's very busy. Uh, do you know who, like not who busy in town we might be able to talk to regarding the quarry? Who would know the most information about such a thing? You got a quarry with what? With who? With a quarry. Not the rock quarry. quarry. The rock quarry. Right. Yeah. Uh, right. Right. I mean, find one of the miners. I think uh, maybe you could find the uh, the uh, the the mining captain. But uh, I mean, they're they're busy at work trying to clear the thing out right now. They've been working on that thing for two weeks. <laughs> we we were trying to help them, I guess, with whatever the problem was. You four. Aren't you from the Centaurium? Yes. Yes. Well, yeah, I'm not judging. Look, um Just know these miners are uh quite prideful people. They're not gonna like y'all sniffing around trying to you know, get in on their, their their stuff up there. Nice takes out her notebook and then it just like slides it across the counter. It just says, did something happen there? <laughs> what is happening there? <laughs> uh, they keep on uh, coming back in their asses whooped or something. Their butts whooped. <laughs> and we want to help with that? I mean, sure, if you want. It's, it's about that time. Um, actually, no. Never mind. But yeah, I mean, you're more than happy to go out and help them. Uh, he kind of points out the, the door and says, back down that road. And it's mm -hmm. kind of a western road. Uh, it follows the shore a little bit, but uh, curves back in towards inland. Take that out of there. It'll dump you right off at the rock quarry. They uh, fill up the ships there and Used to bring the stone around and uh, unload it here at the docks. I appreciate the assistance. Um, does the quarrymaster have a what's his name? What's their name? Uh, quarrymaster. Yeah, that one is a uh, a uh, Bors, B O R S, Captain Bors. Right. Don't get us wrong. I will definitely be back here for something more fun. But uh, we need to go take care of a problem, and it's better not to go in, you know, with a cloudy head, foggy head. I mean, could give you some courage if you want. Oh, I have plenty of that. I'm not afraid to die. Liquid courage, victory drink when you get back? Maybe. Guys, I got kids to feed. <laughs> well, that, then don't offer us drinks for free. Let us pay you. Uh, That's bad business practice. It's just juice. Yeah, which you can charge for. Charge the kids, charge the pregnant ladies, charge us. You know. I didn't really think about that. Yeah, Don't really that's a whole market. Ladies. It's not really a market I go after here, but... But it could be. I mean, Maybe they come know. with their husbands. Make I hear she made um, a friend who was here earlier who walked out the back door. Oh, yeah, the uh, the fish guy. Ma yeah, made him a little drink that supposedly is supposed to help people with the hangover. So you can, like, sell them the hangover and then Keep sell them drinking. the cure to the hangover in the uh -huh. morning. Uh-huh. Just keep them hooked, as a little fish joke would say. I hate that. 
Uh, I don't like puns. Uh, me neither. I severely doubt that, but all right. <laughs> sure. All right. How about this? You give me the recipe? Give you half proceeds. Oh, I don't need the money. But here, you just have it. You just you just take it. We lost you, your human clients. It's a little condescending, but that's all right. I'll take it. Well, it, no, I'm it's sorry. fine. It's, I get I get you rich folk and all that. You all that come for money, it's fine. No, I don't. I have no money, but I don't also. I don't need it. I don't care, really. You need. You have a family to feed. I can go in the forest and find something to eat if I need to. Why don't you care about money? Um, because material possessions really don't. Uh, I don't need it. Food, kind of like. <laughs> yeah, and Ice is just like kind of probably like looking at everybody like. What is happening? Like yeah. she's keeping yeah like it's uh, hard keeping up with the conversation. I I don't. I'm gonna go. About to say it's a very fancy outfit you're wearing for yeah you know what? We're not gonna <laughs> she realized that. i mean it's fine everyone else leaves the tavern so you guys are good just uh tell people about about the place that's all oh here's the recipe and i'll ask an eyes for a piece of paper and write it down nice. i get everyone <laughs> got lost it that sucks cool um much appreciated. Uh, good luck with your qu your query at the quarry. Something like that. Now you're the one throwing puns after you told ah, us you don't like it. It was I tried. I tried and didn't like it. <laughs> Bad taste in my mouth. Might need to wash that down. That's another one. <laughs> and you hear him like as you're walking out. Maybe that's why I don't make any money because I keep drinking everything. Yeah. All right. Well, that was a terrible interaction. Nobody let me talk anymore, apparently. <laughs> we need potions, right? Yep. <laughs> it's probably a good call. <laughs> I'm just. Anias, do you have. Does your storm lord need somebody else? I'll just also vow to not talk anymore. <laughs> you don't hear um, any claps of oh, thunder yeah. at all. She <laughs> just she just writes, "I'm glad you talked. I didn't want to." <laughs> Zach, let's see if we can find some potions. Okay. I miss not interacting with people. It's quite easy to just not talk to people. I was about know? to ask, do you just say that to yourself? Just like walking <laughs> behind everybody? Yeah. Uh, I just like talk. I just like. Uh. <laughs> Kyle, were you going to say something? Uh, just. You just tear in your mind like. You know, you choose to just walk away or not talk. It's always up to you. All right, so you guys look for the apothe <laughs> apothecary. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, um, it's not hard to find. Um, it's down near the tailor shop. You do see rosewood apothecary outside with a few plants uh, growing, some vines heading up, um, and a strong odor that kind of hits your nostrils. A little bit of a, a, a smoke or incense kind of rising out of all the windows and stuff. Who's going in? I think we'll go in. Yeah. We're all going in, I guess. If it's a small place, I'll just stand outside and wait. It's pretty small. It's like a one room shop. Yeah, the last thing you need is a guy my size trying to fit in there with everyone else. Big guy and a little door. Uh, you walk in and um, the smell hits you. It's like burning roses kind of hits your nose but it's it's like way too it's a nice smell but it's way too intense um there seems to be cauldrons that seem to be churning and, and whiling all throughout um but there's a, a simple kind of like a bench table 
and then behind it with uh, just some beads that are like hanging there, some green beads that uh, kind of hide the back area. Um, you just hear someone back there um, who seems to be shuffling around. And uh, all around are just different types of potions, things that are kind of out for sale. I will walk up to the counter and start perusing the wares <laughs> until someone comes to help. <laughs> sure. Yep. <laughs> um, you see um, down there, there are uh, six healing potions that seem to be pretty fresh. A green potion with swirling silver in it. And a um, a like silverish thickish one with almost like little pieces of bark. Hmm. There's Do you make any noise or call for anybody? Nope, just Hello. In there. <laughs> Hello? Is anybody here? Oh, I'll be right with you. There's like another momentary. You hear someone shuffling in the back and the, a cork being like taken off something and stuff being poured in. Liquid courage. That should do it. And then coming out from the beads, you see a very interesting figure. Um, red hair. Almost uh, <laughs> That's the vine, that voice. green, yep. <laughs> green uh, veins coming up. Um, She's back. <laughs> beautiful uh, flowered and barked dress. Um, and now with these gloves that almost are kind of like this, where she has her thumb out, so it's like covering uh, most of her arms and legs. It's hard to see, but you can see these green veins that come up from her neck and kind of come up this. Um, oh, hello. I didn't hear anybody there. Welcome. Uh, hi. Very like hi. Almost spaced out look as she's looking past you, almost outside. Oh. What can I do for you? Uh, looking to buy some potions. Anyone think Luna love good with this character for sure? Well, I have plenty of potions. They weren't easy to make. Um, <laughs> She's just standing there. Just it seemed to like as the silence happens, she seems to drift almost as if she's thinking about something, some memory. So what are these? Oh. What are what are what? These potions here. Oh. Well those those were made from the uh the bushes. Uh, back about 50 yards are very nice to talk to, but they let me have some of their leaves, and that was that one. This one was made from the bark from from way down yonder. They actually had a really nice little sapling that I enjoyed sitting under one day. Oh, those are just healing potions. Yes, uh, we what would like... Do? Oh, what did they do? Sure. So... Sorry. <laughs> Keep on forgetting you guys are new to this character. Um, <clears throat> so this green one here, it's really nice. It helps you talk to the plants. And this one here, the gray one, it, it helps make sure that you don't get caught on things like vines or thick vines or, or rocks. Anyways, there's a big root that we fought that is killing another city, but um, we brought it back here to sell for now. I'm waiting for my friends to <laughs> call me. I'm supposed to meet them somewhere. Oh. Oh, I guess I'll be here until that happens. Okay. How much? <laughs> you see these, like, little orbs that just kind of, like, pop out. She's now that you're a little closer, you see these red mushrooms that are, like, sprouting out of her skin. The little blue feathers that seem to be uh, populating on different aspects of her. And all of a sudden, just one little mushroom just... Oh. This one's ready. And she, like, pops it off and crumbles it into this boiling tea that she has ready. Tea's ready. Would you like some? It's delicious. 
I would like to roll insight. Sure. Roll me insight. <laughs> Ten. What do you want to know? Um, if it looks uh sus, or if it's fine. I mean, these little pores, mushrooms came off of her. It's true. But besides that, they look great. And she does the tea looks, smell okay? Tea smells amazing, actually. Hmm. I'm just looking at Anias and... Huh? Nothing else. Just, I'll get to the YouTube. Sorry. You look at Anias and Zach. Uh, her eyes are just huge. And she looks like she wants... Like she I'm looks back at the door. What you're doing. Her eyes you like know glaze what? past. Like... I'll... Sure. I'll, I'll try some. Oh. Sure. Sure. She like yeah. reaches out a drink for you. Smells good. It's quite good. They keep me safe. Would you like a drink? Who is she asking? Uh, Zachary. In the, it's just the you two that walked in, right? Or a nice you come in as well? I was sort of hovering near the door. Okay. She's just talking to Zachary now. Um, I'll try the tea. Zachary? I mean, I'm watching her to see what she does when she drinks it. Yeah. She goes to drink hers. I think it's delicious. It's the best tea that you've ever had. Kind of this beautiful, like, uh, fruity flavor with a little earth tone underneath it. Uh, Constitution statement there. All right. That is low. Um, Ten. Ten? I'm rolling a lot of tens, yeah. Okay. I'll let you know what happens. All right. Do you feel fun? No, no, she feels feel great, and it's the best, probably one of the best teas you've ever had. Rivals like some okay. of the fanciest teas you've had from home. Yeah, I've had a lot of really good stuff. This is really good. I know. Thanks. My name's Mekai. Oh, it's a pleasure. My name's Rona. Nice. Um, can we buy some uh, health potions? That's what we're in here for. I wouldn't stop you. How much are they? Mm. How much do you want to pay for them? What's the going market price for potions? About 50 gold. Each? Well, Zach. Ooh, should I take advantage of this girl or not? <laughs> Crap. <laughs> um. While they're what talking, we... and I just like leaves and goes and stands next to Kahu. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this place. <laughs> yeah. Just <laughs> like, hey. <laughs> she waits. <laughs> she writes, it was weird in there. Just watching what Meikai is going to do. <laughs> Some awkward Would sounds you... coming from there. Oh, what did you say? <laughs> and you see her, uh, you see her reach out almost towards you guys, but then past you. And there's this little spider that's just hanging there. And she grabs it, puts it on her hand. That's funny. And she just like, you... is like, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. <laughs> Uh, what about the trades? What do you have? Um, I'm going to pull out, because I did take a couple of the flower petals, right? Because I f forgot that it was actually the root, but I have the petals <laughs> of the flower, and I'll hand them to her. I dried them, I guess, or like they're in the drying process, but. Oh, wow. Those are beautiful. Oh, they're dead, though. They are. <laughs> What happened to them? She looks really sad and like heartbroken. Oh no no no! They they helped some other people, or at least the roots did. That's good. Cool. Um, yeah. They're very pretty. They are very rare, apparently. Do so you want all of these just for that flower? No, I was going to. We were going to pay, right, Zach? 
Um, how many potions? How, how many potions do you have? I mean, there's four health potions, a speak to plant potion, and a um. Why am I blanking out all of a sudden? What did I tell you it was? Uh, slipperiness potion. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, a potion Slippery. that um, yeah, for a minute that you don't uh, get held by difficult terrain. Um. Well, we just wanted the ones that affected your health to like help. You know the health potions. Okay. So, yeah. Um, here is a bunch of money, and here you can have the petals. I don't know how much money I have, but uh, I, I don't have two hundred. You spent a lot. Yeah, I've spent a lot. I'm gonna give much, her the rest of much, my money though. How much gold are you giving her? <laughs> uh, how much do you think I've actually spent? Because you no said clue. The if you don't have it written down, you got no money on you. Oh. Crap. <laughs> I told you hold guys on, to write on. down what's on you. Hold on. That's yeah, the yeah, one yeah, thing yeah, I'm yeah. Very strict about as a DM. <laughs> um, I you let spent me like 70 bits. or 80. If I remember. You spent a lot on clothes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right. But then the last shopping trip, you said that I bought all the clothes and it was only like 20 or something, right? 20 silver. You said, you said silver, not gold. Should have written it down. So. <laughs> I did write it down. <laughs> um, he has too many notes. I have a lot I'm of notes. I'm not keeping y'all's currency or equipment in my notes. That's one of my house rules, yeah. If you don't have it written down, then you don't have it on you. Okay. Make guys like oh. that for a coin yeah. purse. <laughs> oh, I, I swear hey, I have my I wallet. Bring that? <laughs> 85. My wallet must be gone, Zach. Did you, did you bring your wallet? Wow, Zach! <laughs> I know I told you guys I'd pay, but oh, I'm so sorry. I actually did that before. Five, so I did five silver for warmer clothing. I have 85 in here. That means I have. Like almost 85 gold. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I'm just going to hand that all over. Uh, I only have 85 oh, wow, that's a gold. Lot. Yeah. Is that is that enough? Uh, is it enough? Looks like it. Yeah. And the the petals. Oh, the petals are they're my favorite part. She it's, just like um, leaves the gold and grabs the pet like the, the flower petals towards her. Wow. Those are they're yeah, very they're rare. Very, they are. Yeah. She grabs the petals, starts going to the back. Have fun with your potions then. All right, let's go, Zach. Okay. Zach, you weren't Just drinking. The, you weren't drinking the potion that's in front of you at all. <laughs> or not the potion, the tea. The uh, tea. I did not drink it. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, you guys head out. Yep. You hear talking. You guys come out to time. like. Yeah, you you hear you or you see like Anaya showing Kahu a note as you guys come out, and the note says. She was drinking mushrooms that came out of her skin. <laughs> Their eyes are like really big. Um, and <laughs> we're a couple minutes after, so we're gonna go ahead and take our quick break here on that note. As you guys get to meet one of my original PCs, Rona, that I absolutely love from Rachel's um it, a game. It was great. It's actually how I met D, surprisingly enough. So anyways, all right, we're gonna take a quick break. Uh thank you again. Quick shout out to everybody. Uh Mara. Uh, Vexelin, who is our uh, featured uh, content creator of the, of the week, will be uh, showing off her art. The amazing Kahu shirt that has spawned my goal to get a Kahu shirt in the merch store. It's going to happen. Um, thank you so much for your support tonight. Ruin Keep, Literary DM, all of you guys. Griffin, you guys are legendary. So thank you so much. We will be right back from our break. Don't go anywhere. Trust me. You definitely don't want to miss what's coming up.
so. Welcome back, everybody. We are back from our break of Fates United, our weekly D&D campaign, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, every week over here on Twitch slash Bardic Dice. You can find our beginning episodes on YouTube and eventually, a bar, I'm sorry, I will get the rest up there. Or you can uh, catch our recent episodes on the VOD below. Uh, Y'all are nuts. And I didn't even get a chance to announce this giveaway that I was going to do over the break. That uh, I was going to, uh, since we got over 100, I'm going to let you guys, we're going to do a giveaway uh, to figure out my hair color. And the winner also gets a, a full set of stickers from our set so uh feel free to uh type in for the rest of the game uh exclamation mark giveaway um and it's oh why is it saying it's not giveaway happening? running this is an april fools start giveaway try it now why did you say you won the giveaway nightfall what are you doing mm, i don't want to that's the thing i don't want to start i don't want to do the giveaway yet i'm just trying to start it oh my goodness changes you're gonna take it away now <laughs> i mean creepy i'll give you stickers but like that's not the giveaway yet i don't know how to make this work and it's supposed to put giveaway right giveaway you're supposed to type it in anyways y'all are on the list <laughs> so i have yeah just type in giveaway you show up on my list and i'll just make sure to mark you an eligible when I can. It looks like uh, Stream Elements and Nightbot are having a fight. Yeah, I, I don't. Yeah, this maybe. Is fight bot. Fight bot. There we go. Maybe I'm doing this wrong. Yeah. We're probably user error. You guys might need to do it again, actually. I don't know what I did wrong. I don't know what I'm doing. Anyways, I have you guys on a list, so we'll figure it out. Anyways, we'll figure this out by the end of the, the end of the stream. Um, but yeah, feel free to spam giveaway. I know it's saying no giveaway running, but it says it's your list. Yeah, I don't know. You're on the list. So I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Oh, it's because stream elements has, I think that's what it is. Stream elements has its own thing. So let's try this. Okay. Let's try this. Um, contest. All right. Hashtag contest. Try that instead. So stream elements has its own thing for giveaway. Um, did I say hashtag contest? I'm sorry. I'm so bad at this. Let's just change that. Anyways, yeah. Just just try it. Anyways, we'll figure it out. We'll, we'll get it to work. Hashtag contest. Um, sorry, it's hashtag contest now, everyone. All right, anyways. Um, so yeah, so this will be running to the end of the game. Um, and, uh, right before we raid, we will, uh, make an announcement so thank you guys so much i mean this is insane uh that we're over 100 i i can't i can't express how much you guys are amazing and how much uh, my mind's blown just how far we've gone in in such a little time and how many people we've met and how much fun we're having so that being said um let's get back to our lovely friends that we've made uh in fates united you guys leave the apothecary of rona a quite peculiar elf human hybrid thing it's quite weird um but you guys are now um with uh a speak with potions a speak with animals potion a um a potion that for one minute once you take it will give you freedom of movement and then four uh regular healing potions i had actually only just grabbed the healing potions unless zach wanted to grab the other ones she turned around and let you guys grab everything so it's up to you guys what you wanted to grab i would have just grabbed the healing potions zachary i mean she said we got all the potions is that what she said okay then i'll take I all mean, the potions she didn't really <laughs> say much but yeah <laughs> she's, sure, she's a little I'll hard to understand them. yeah but so there's no contest she seems to care only about the petals. Even the, the 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 bag of gold was left there on the on the the table when you grab it. But yeah, so you guys have those potions, and you are outside of the apothecary. What's it? You got four healing regular healing potions. Animal. What's the other one? Speak with animals, and then a potion that gives you freedom of movement. Basically, um, for one minute, you won't be held by uh, difficult terrain or opportunity attacks. 
Hmm. I don't think she realizes. Rona realizes how amazing these potions were. Yeah. That's Rona. She probably just got those sent from some friends. Being like, look, we just bought these for you. Don't give these away. Hold on to these. Here you go. Yep. All right. So what are you guys doing? You guys have been told right. about the quarry on the western road. Yeah, I think we go ahead and we head to the quarry. Do you think that tea is going to make me sick? No, it's not. <laughs> I don't know why you drank that. It was really good, though. I'm sure some pocket cookies will help you. Okay. Okay, let's just keep going, I guess. Oh, give me a constitution saving throw. For what? Oh. 14. You feel a little gurgle. But you're fine. But you've eaten a lot of these pocket cookies. No, I was telling her to try one of those pocket cookies. You're still eating a lot, cookies. though. <laughs> I think you and Ergon were eating some this morning. All right, perfect. So you guys start uh, walking down the western route outside of Rosewood. Is that correct? All right. Yes. I need a marching order, please. I guess I'll go in front. I'll go set. I'll be second. Okay, like I guess that problem. means I'm third. <laughs> All right, I'll put you guys like this then. Are we supposed to be on roll 20? Uh, not quite yet. All right, so you guys start walking down the Western Road. It is similar to the road up towards the Centaurium and also way uh, from the same path that you guys came from New Organia. As you guys continue down westward to the coast, it starts turning a little bit away from the coastline you can't quite see the sea you can hear the waves but you can't quite see the waves in this beautiful forest of uh, dark brown bark the tree is now um another week into uh fall and and the christmas of crispness of winter starting to uh, break at your backs um the leaves are definitely starting to fall and any that are still on the trees are orange or dark brown as fall seems to be slowly uh, fading away. The trees, though, are still pretty sparse here, and you guys start walking um, a good distance, 20, 30 minutes down this path. And there's a lot of footsteps, um, but you can definitely see two trails of the cart as well as you're going there. Um, thank you so much, Good Deeds, for the follow. We really appreciate you joining in. Um, you're doing a wonderful time to join. Um, so as you guys continue going down this way, um, I want everyone to give me a perception check, please. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 good, he's okay, awesome. Thank you, Laura, appreciate that. Thirteen. Thirteen. Four. Nineteen. Nineteen. What are we, is this survival? Perception. Sorry. Perception. Oh, perception. Uh, Fourteen. Fourteen. 14. All right. Uh, who got the 19 again? Sorry, Kyle. Huh? Yeah. Um, you guys are all walking down this way. Is anyone on alert for anything or just kind of casually walking? What's kind of the... I'm looking for enemies. Yeah, keeping an eye out for things. Sure. Um, the rest of you don't see anything. There's a few times that you hear a snapping of a twig or the um, breeze that hits through a bush. A kahu. Something grabs your attention in the distance though um a little blurry but you see an animal uh, that seems to be skirting away from you guys after it heard uh, your footsteps on the path keep an eye on that up ahead over to the left no one else can see it and you see just a glint of sunlight bouncing off of something when all of a sudden it fades out of your view. Um, I kind of point the general area. I'm like, it might be something that way, but I can't quite tell. Okay. Mm. I like look up, I like poke my head around the line. 
And you guys don't see anything. Uh, Kahu, you can just now barely hear. I'm almost like footsteps or hoofs uh, kind of echoing off away from you, leaving you. Okay. Keep heading that way. Okay. Are you guys heading continue down the path or are you doing are you going off the path towards the sound at all? Um I mean we don't know if this is worth anything, so we're staying on the path because that's where we know where to find people. Right. So you let this animal or sound disapparate and as you're walking you don't hear anything more. Eventually about another hour pasts. So do our weather check. It is a sunny but cloudy day in the sky. As the sun's not really beating on your necks, but the uh, the coolness of the shade starts taking over. The smell of the sea salt bouncing off your nose, um, combining with the sweet aroma of the forest landscapes. Eventually, I look though. Look at the clouds a lot. Look at the clouds. Um. Oh. One kind of looked like Rona. That's weird. <laughs> uh, eventually, you get to a fork in the road. As you come across it, one breaks left. Looks like it's heading downwards towards some sort of uh, running river. And you start seeing rocks uh, amidst the landscape. You look to the right, and this one looks like it's starting to go up a hill into more forest. I turn around. Do you, any of you all remember exactly which direction was the ideal one for us to head towards? Do we? I mean, does one look like it's gonna? lead to a bunch of rocks eventually or are the trees too tall to tell um like i said the left one has some rocks in the landscapes but it looks like it's going down towards a river the other one to the right does you don't see any rocks but it's starting to go up a hill um if you guys want to try and give me survival checks to see ah. i'll let one do it with advantage or two can do survival if you guys want to I, just try and I figure can survive out I'll do one. okay you guys go that was quick and decisive. <laughs> I like it. Like Ren and like an Angel survival. I, I got an eleven. As well. yeah. Both eleven. All right, you guys both start taking in the landscape and getting a feel for it as you both point in two different directions, saying, "That's the way the quarry is." Almost at the same time. I just do. Right. Why do you think right. it's that way? She shrugs. <laughs> <laughs> then she points to you, like asking the same question. Because hmm. I see rocks that way. Also, if you're taking. I remember them talking about the fact that they ship these things out. So clearly, a river would be an easy way to get it there. So if we start at the river, we can work our way up, and that may lead us to the quarry. That's Do not. Good reasoning. So which way are you guys all wanting to go? Uh, the riverside. All in agreement? Yes. All right. So you guys start heading down, downwards, following the, the, the slope of the hill towards this riverside. Eventually, uh, being able to cross here as it's narrow, but as you continue the path, it circles back up towards the river. Um, you guys spend about a good another 30 minutes, almost close to an hour. As the trees start to part a little bit, the river starts getting a little wider and wider. And you start coming up uh, across a dockside where you can now see a old, not not old, but a, an abandoned, emptied longboat um, that looks like it has a few rocks in it. And you can see where there's a pulley system 
across the river looking up up a almost like a straight sheer side cliff to a pulley system up on the hill and you start to get the sense i think we're at the bottom of the quarry this seems like the riverfront where the trade route would be and it seems pretty abandoned at the moment um you guys could attempt ex- sorry go ahead oh i was just gonna say i I would have expected more of like a river coming down the hill as opposed to this kind of a contraption. Yeah. Nice just looks back up at the cliff. You guys can decide to uh, potentially climb this cliffside, or you can circle back, go out back the other way. It might take some more time. Might have lost an hour or two. I think we circled back because I remember last time I happened when we climbed. Yeah, that's <laughs> probably a better idea. Is that what everyone wants to do? Mm-hmm. All right. Um, you guys start. Okay. Heading your way back. Um, and heading your way back to the uh, the split in the road. By this time, it's past noon. Uh, the sunlight just poking out between the clouds. Um, you've wasted a a little bit of time during the day travel. Um, but you guys start heading the other way. Now uphill, um, as you all start walking forward, Kaho, you're in the lead, right? Yes. Give me a perception check. Uh, Twelve. Twelve? Yep. All right. Um, you start seeing two humans just in the distance running past a curve in the bend of the path as they start running towards you um you're the first one to see this they look like they have blood on them and they're yelling you guys doing anything um i'll kind of pull my shield off and get it on my arm like my spear in the one hand with the shield but then i'll kind of like wave at the guys like Come towards us. Anything, I'm not going to run towards them, though. I'm going to kind of check our area and see if we can, like, defense up a little bit. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I want to see if I can well. see or hear anything around us. If you... If I um, can roll perception, but... Yeah, you can do a quick uh, perception check. I'm just kind of looking around. 24. 24, nice. Um... There's really not much going on around you, but you can hear yelling from around the bend that goes quiet. And then these two fellers that are running towards you seem to be screaming louder and louder. Obscenities and just babble, and they seem to be scared and frightful and have uh, just, uh, just add, they're almost out of their mind. The other two, what are you guys doing before they get to you? I'll just stay behind everybody and watch to see if anything happens. Yeah, I'm just... I said I was just taking a defensive Mm -hmm. position. Okay. Let me change this over real quick. Give me one second. Gotta make the mood match the events going on. So, you see it going forward in front of you. Here, not go for a second. Um, two men coming down towards you. Uh, humans running with blood streaked across their chest. One blood uh, almost on his face. Longer hair. The other one seems to have a hat on. Uh, they're just all, oh my god, you get out of here. That's absolutely insane. What are you guys doing? You gotta get Gotta get, yo, we're not going up towards the quarry no more. Come on, y'all, we're getting out of here. Both of them just trying to yell at both of you guys, just like, no, nah, that's, that's the same. That beach is gonna come get you. Are there other people up there? Um, you, you now that you're closer, they're all covered with like dirt and rock, and you can see like uh, teeth missing. These are guys are definitely older, weathered miners. Um, M I N E R. 
that seem to be uh, running away from the quarry. And you hear one of them just, uh, dude, you're not listening to me. They're going to come get you. There's no one left up there anymore. Just save yourself. Insight check. Insight check. Yeah. Go for it. The other one's like, <laughs> uh, he like just like freaking out in shock. Do, hey, yeah, do hey. they look? What is that? 18. 18. They're freaking out. Something just happened that they saw. They're freaking out and scared out of their, their whittles. Uh, do they see? Did he seem sure, though, that there was nobody left back there? From what he thinks, yeah. Okay. Anais, nice, what were you going to mm -hmm. say? Um, I was just wondering if I could just do him a quick look over it of like how injured are they do they look like they could make it back to town or they both look fine they're just in shock that's not their oh, okay blood. okay mm. what? why do you why do you not hear me that's the most foul cruel bad timber road you ever set eyes on we gotta get out of here and the other one is oh you, t you t i think i sold my armor i'm so scared and he goes look we, we gotta get out of here what are you guys doing <laughs> No, she's like holds out her weapon, <laughs> like puts it on the ground. We can't we heard help. that there was stuff happening here, and we wanted to see what was going on and see if we could help. Oh, yes, yeah, what we came up here to do. We've been trying to clear the quarry out from different creatures, but every time we send people, they keep on disappearing. We didn't believe them, but I swear that creature's there with fangs longer than my arms, blood curdling down its face, drinking it up like water. I don't think you should go up there. Trust me, nice save yourself. Taps, nice tap Zach and like does this around. If she if he doesn't get what she means, that's fine, but You're doing what? I'm like doing like this to him, like Two? Sorry, I I'm I'm maybe. Zach, I tap oh, okay. Zach. Like I'm trying to tell like tell him something to ask them, but if he doesn't get it, that's okay. You're muted. <laughs> no idea what you mean. Um, if they're still talking, she'll just write like darkness creature question mark. Yeah, they seem to be rambling on and on. <laughs> that, did you be crawling out of the well? I mean, it just ripped that thing. That sucker straight out of here, just right in half, right in front of us. The other ones. I, I didn't want to go home. <laughs> to be exactly to say, it doesn't sound natural. We go take a look. Mm hmm I'll hand out the... Well... I'll hand out the potions before we go up, but... What, what are you What are you guys doing? Are you guys... You're still going up there? Oh, fine. We'll, we'll, Someone needs to. I'll, I'll point it out to you. And the other one's like, I'm, I'm going home. I'm saving you. I'm saving myself, Tim. You better come after me. Rob and I, we, we got to save them, man. If these poor souls got to know what they're getting into. All right, fine. I'll, I'll point it out to you. I ain't getting near it. I ain't kidding. I ain't losing my life over this. And the one that's named Robin just is booking it back towards Rosewood. Um... What's happened to this Boris person who's the quarry master? Are you asking this out loud? Yeah. Oh God, it was Boris. That that was the one. That was the one that ripped the shreds. He oh. was a good man. Boris was a good man. He's, he's like he's walking you guys up slowly, just around the bend, um, and starting to get up to this point um, where he brings you around a corner, and you guys can see just this mutilated blood. Out of a body. Oh, oh, I can't even look at it. Oh. All right, we'll we'll take care of this. Go, go, take care of yourself. Oh. There it is. There's that fiend. And he points out, and all four of you look, and you guys can see just a, a little white rabbit just sitting there. Uh, Look, that rabbit's got a vicious streak of wild mind. I swear he's a killer. 
don't go in there. Don't go in there. I kind of like rock back onto my heels a little bit. And I'm like, is this what an Easter bunny is? <laughs> Wait. Wait. You? You, you too? Actually, me too. He, he was the only one that had the dream. Yeah. Oh, did he? Oh, okay. <laughs> never mind. Dang it. Nice try, though. <laughs> so he literally yeah. pointed to like a little baby bunny. What are you talking about, little baby bunny? It's, it, that I didn't killer. say that. I, that was nice. Oh, that's right. I keep on forgetting your silent. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, he just keeps on pointing. He's like almost in shock. It just that's what killed. That's what killed boars. What do you guys use to mine? What? What do you mean? What, what do you we use to mine? How do you mine the quarry? Well, pickaxes, rocks. Well, we see. Well, we see the rocks down the uh, any mine minerals down the pulley system to the river. You got a spot where there's some rocks we can throw down that way? I mean, yeah, but you gotta get, you gotta get past that beast. We, to we, get to the rocks? Do you not see what it did to bars? Hmm. Y'all, y'all are crazy. Y'all are crazy. I'm getting out of here. I'm saving myself. And he mm -hmm. just, he Please. just starts dipping. It's your life. It's your funeral. How far away from it is it from us? It's about a... Uh... Right now it's about 25 feet. Just sitting there, just nibbling on some, some grass. Bloody grass. It's really cute. Who, who has all the potions? I handed I them out. I have animal one. Has yeah. The slipperiness one. So. I'm gonna take out like a rat, a meat ration. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna huck it past the bunny. Hmm. Past it? Yeah. Don't seem to know. It's just gonna fly right over. Looks back and then it's like kind of eyeballing you guys. I could drink this potion. Nice nods and like points to it. Okay. I'll drink the potion. It bounces five feet closer to you. I'm gonna step five feet back. Uh, yeah, we're all like. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a cute bunny, guys. I don't know why you're worried. Nice has her spear. She's like standing really close to Zach. Like, got your back type of stance. So, nope. <laughs> I will warn you, I had a dream about something like this. It was much larger, but it was very dangerous. Uh, so, Zachary, you, you've, stepped, you've stepped forward in front of everyone? Is that right? Uh, oh, side by side with Anais. I guess everyone's... Is everyone, like, side by side line. now? Like, in a, like a wall? Yeah. Okay. So, are you in line with them, or are you stepping forward at all? I mean, I will approach the rabbit. How far away are you getting? <laughs> I mean, I'll walk up to it and just start like saying like, hey, they're bunny. Uh, I want to be right on Zach's trail, though. All right, I'll go ahead and uh, we'll get our map up so you guys can see what's going on. Hey, bunny. <laughs> ah, we Zach's over. gone. To our battle cam. It's a little flipped. I apologize when I made as the I map. You, I didn't know. Mage armor. mage armor as I approach. Mage armor. So you start approaching. Uh go ahead and let me know how far far ahead you get you you walk forward. Well, was it reacting to me saying anything? Uh so you you start saying Like hey buddy. So how far forward when you say hey buddy? I mean, within distance for it to be able to hear me. 
All right. Well, show me on the map. Are you, are you staying where you're at, or, you're, or where? Where? At what oh, point did you say? I that? think I'm at a good distance right now. Okay. Where I can hear me, All right. So. That's okay. That's what I was asking. Um, you drink this potion, and you're standing there. Hey, bunny, bunny. You guys hear this like? Uh, and all of a sudden, it perks its head, bounces five feet towards you. You just hear. Kill! Kill! Oh, and it launches out towards you guys. Roll initiative. Heck yeah, I'm doing uh-huh. Monty Python. <laughs> Heck yes. Well, we don't have a holy hand grenade, though. We don't have a holy hand grenade. Come on, y'all. You think it's day before Easter I'm not going to do? Or the week, week before Easter I'm not going to do Monty Python? Y'all are crazy. 17. After, after uh, Mark's bunny costume i was like oh i'm so doing monty python it's happening now <laughs> all right it has come flying at you with incredible speed zachary you now see these black markings uh, coming from its eyeballs it's opening its mouth wide with these crazy teeth i'm still talking like the miners blood curdling down um it's terrifying um all right so initiative rolls let me get back to it real quick uh, all right. Uh, so first up, um, Mekai, what'd you get? 17. 17. A nice. Uh, five. Five. Mm-hmm. Kahu. Four. Four. Oof. Oh. Zachary. Four. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. All right. Um, I can tell you guys, uh, they, they rolled pretty well. So... Um, as this happens, uh, me- sorry, uh, Meikai, you move towards your sword, uh, just trying to act, as all of a sudden you see this, this bunny, uh, all of a sudden just mm-hmm. come alive and rage and launch itself up towards Zachary, uh, launching itself at his throat. Uh, the bunny goes first, <laughs> surprisingly enough. Oh, jeez. Mage armor up, golden armor skew, uh, flashing with your, uh, um, uh, flashing out of your staff. Does a 12 hit? 12 misses. 12 misses. As all of a sudden, it just, you, you can feel the scratching on this metallic, uh, almost like a teeth on, uh, uh, like metal, scraping and sparking off of the arcane. Uh, bit there, it jumps back down and then it's kind of like looking around at all of you um, pretty intensely and crazy um, it's not looking good um, but we are at Meikai uh, uh, what are y'all's passive perceptions? Uh, 17 what is, what is it supposed to be? your perception plus 10? Yeah, uh, 10 mm-hmm. plus your perception, yeah. Yeah, 14. 17. 17. 14. Uh, Anais, you see in the distance, standing on a rock, a hooded figure. Let me, oh, my. It's the Dean. Oh, I'm on my wrong page here. Where's the deceased one? Um, standing at the rock side, way out here. A hooded figure with a glowing green staff. Um, quick shout out to at Chili Draws. Um, I found this on Twitter today and it was absolutely perfect for my uh, my battle plan. So uh, we did this. Uh, so as uh, as it is now your turn, uh, the the bunny kind of goes back down and uh, kind of eyeing everybody. Um, but Makai, it is uh, now your Thanks. turn. Um, as okay. nice, you can see the this figure kind of looking over your direction now, seeing you guys for the first time. But it's now your turn, Makai. Yeah, so I'm gonna attack it with. Uh, I can do my dagger attack and then the flurry of blows with the key point. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna try to attack the bit. Sure. Um. That is an 18. 18 just uh-huh. seems to hit as you're able to reach out with okay. it. 
It tried to jump okay. out of the way, but you're able to catch it midair. You just That's is this five unarmed? Points. No, my dagger. We'll do dagger, okay. Five yeah. Points. Are you going to are you going to move into fighting range? Yeah. Sorry, I. Um. Oh yeah, I wanted to get like around it. I have speed. Okay. So to get does that mean I it? get advantage on it? Yeah, if you're trying yeah. to flank it, yes. Uh, okay. Yeah. Well. Oh, that was slightly higher. So that's a. A nineteen. Hit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so that's five, five points. points for sure. the dagger. And then Flurry of Blows, I'm gonna do. Uh, slice out at it as uh, black blood seems to uh, skewer out from this cute Ew. little bunny that you guys are attacking for no reason at all. And these are both at advantage, right? Because everything's at a. Oh, natural 20! Natural <laughs> 20! Yeah! Uh, yeah. Alright. It so... starts turning towards you midair as it's seeing its new target, but you launch in for an attack. Go for it. Okay, so that is uh four points for that one. Four total? And then that double? E oh wait, sorry. Hold on. We roll double plus block decks. Oh. What? I know. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm getting confused because we have house rules for our home game. You can so either I don't know how to do this normally. Yeah, it's either double the dice or re-roll the dice. It's up to, I, I leave it to player oh, decision. I'll just double eight then. Because so that's the full modifier. modifier. Plus my dex modifier. Why is this so complex? Uh, two. Dragon to dragon, Jimmy one. I I don't know. <laughs> so this is your dagger, right? Yes, I rolled a two on my d4. Times two. Plus two. That's okay. Four plus two is your modifier, so that's six total. Yeah. E sure. I don't know why this math isn't adding up. I rolled a two, and I have a plus two. It's one d4 plus two. Therefore, it's a four. Right. So because yeah. you yeah. crit, your two is now a four, plus the dex modifier is going to be six. You you double the dice before the modifier. Oh. You don't double okay. the modifier. Okay. Yep. Home game's different. It's I all apologize. Good. No, you're fine. <laughs> you're good. Uh, yeah. So anytime we do um, natural twenties on fates, so we'll either be you can either choose to take the roll and double it or re-roll the dice. Um, any dice get doubled, uh, but then the modifier is just one time. Okay. Gotcha. All right. Perfect. So that's. So then, yeah, six. so that's six. And so then... You, you go in with the one slash and your second one of your flurry of blows. And my, and my second one is a 17. 17. As this one now, uh, as it's coming down off the, the first slash, you take it out, you go off the second one, it bounces off of that dagger as it seems to quickly, definitely uh, jump past this one. It doesn't seem to hit. Mm. Was that with advantage? Yeah, that was. 17, okay. All right. Yep. Uh, yeah, it's looking pretty hurt. But, I mean, rabbits don't have much, many hit points, so even feral dark one. Are you, uh, are you doing anything else in your turn? Mm, nope, that's okay. it. Perfect. Awesome turn. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, Anais, you start hearing echoes come from this distant well. Looking over in the corner. Well, actually, you can't see it. Uh, there's a big rock face in the way, but you can hear these echoes coming out from some sort of um, hole in the ground. It's like echoing out, just like clicking sounds. Clicking sounds. But Anais, it is now your turn. Um, is the person just standing there watching right now? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. Uh, just like standing there. Boy. Uh, with a with a staff, just kind of looking. It's kind of hid in, in shadow. You can't quite see their face. Okay. Um. So I guess I will just uh get my not my fancy cool blade because it's in my sheath right now. But I'm holding the other one, so I will try and hit the bunny with that. Sure. Um, Go for it. Ooh. 
Ooh, a 23. 23 yeah. definitely hits. Um, and I'm so sorry, you said, is this your normal glaive or your glaive blade? It's my normal one. Just generic. Not my fancy one. If someone's yet. watching, okay. Yeah, some person's here. <laughs> if it was just the bunny, I might take it. <laughs> All right, so you reach uh, for your normal glaive, slash out at it as it's jumping off of Meikai's dagger. You're kind of like all bundled up in this weird like motion of, of activity, trying to get to this small rabbit that's lavishing out at you guys. Yeah, and I like I saw it slash at Zach, so I'm almost like getting in front of him a little bit as I like slash at it. Um, and uh, yeah, that's seven damage. Seven damage, nice. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, I point, I kind of like point a little bit like with my glaive at the end, like, after I slash it, like, over at the figure. It kind of, like, like, just... It's, like, turning its head like this, looking over at you now. All right. Perfect. Great move. Uh, is that your turn? Yep. Still standing there? Yes. Okay. Kahu. Kind of standing, just kind of almost blocking Zach a little bit. Sure. All right, Kaharanji. Rab the rabbit's still there? The rabbit's still there. It's looking super hurt. I'm gonna step up to there. And I'm going to yell at the guy and the, the creature in the distance and say, We're here to see what is going on. We mean no harm to people in the area. In response at the moment. Alright. Is that my action? No, I'll say it's a free action. If you want a response now, I'd say you can take your action if you want to try and persuasion check him. Um, I will have said that, and then I will hold my action to attack the rabbit if it goes to attack one of my party members. Okay, fair enough. So that is your held action. Zachary, it is your turn. This rabbit is bouncing up at you. You've been knocked out of the way by Anias. It's terrifying. I also posted a token in the Discord of what it looks like. Uh, so I will... I can't move my piece, but I would like to move away. Uh, where do you want to move? I'll move kind of... Is it like a rock formation that's like some cover from the person on the top there? In the middle? Can the rest of you guys move your... Like right over there. Yeah, I can move everybody can. else's. I can't move mine. So. No. <laughs> that one's weird. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. All right. Let's go over like right over this general area. Can you do it now? I can. There we go. Yeah. All right. It takes an opportunity attack at you as it sw turns around and tries to uh, bite out at you. Well, I attack it as well. All right. Uh, that is a, uh, a 21 to hit. Yep. Kyle, what do you roll? Uh, I rolled a 24 to hit. 24 to hit? All right. Yep. Uh, as you try and go away, this thing jumps off of the glaive of a nice, latches itself onto your neck. And Zach, you feel this rip at your throat as all of a sudden warm blood starts pouring out. Take 11 points of damage. Um, but as Kahu turns and spears it through, uh, you almost have to back up to, to have the spear miss you. But this, uh, the, the creature is just... Goes Wait, do we all... Oh, okay. Hey. Seven points of damage. Seven points of damage. Yeah, no, it's it's dead. It's it's done done. I had two points left. All right, um, Zachary, you're now bleeding profusely from your neck, though. Um, not necessarily mortally, but all right. Why um, got two screens up? Oh, but you I'm are going away. To cast bless on all my allies. Perfect. All are right. Are we in initiative order still? Yes, we are. Okay. All right, so this one is down. All right, you bless, uh, you cast bless on all three of them. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Is that your turn? Yep. All right, back up to the top of initiative. The rabbit, our Monty Python homebrewed rabbit, is now dead. 
<laughs> um, controlled by the darkness. However, all of you, Anais, first you start hearing the clicking, start echoing through the cord, but now the rest of you start hearing this clicking sound. As you all start taking in, you're distracted by this fight with the rabbit. But you are now starting to look around and you see many different spiders crawling out of little holes in the ground, crevices in the rock face as they start coming out towards you all. These come out towards you, Zachary, the way you are moving. Five, ten. I need, really need to get my grid to work in there. Five, ten, fifteen. Will she stop running away from me? Five, ten, fifteen. Twenty. This one. There. This one stays up there. Five. 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 All of a sudden, this one climbs up the cliff side. Please stay back here. All right, Zachary, you get three attacks on you as these Ouch. spiders start crawling up onto you. One almost off the cliff. They're giant spiders, almost the, the length of your arm, which I'm freaking out because I'm an arachnophobic and I, hate, and I hated this one. First one is a uh, only a seven as the mage armor. They're just biting at you, trying to get through your mage armor. Uh, the second one is a 13, I don't think it's. Miss. And the last one is a 17. Hit. Uh, it bites through for four points of damage. There I go. All you lost. No, no. Oh, no. Okay. All right. As you feel swarmed crawling over, and all of you guys look over as Zachary just falls slowly to the ground as these three spiders just crawl over him, past him, heading up towards you all. All right. Um, that is the spider's turns. Uh, the hooded figure takes down its uh, hood, and you now see this rabbit folk man uh, with glowing green mushrooms sticking out of him, vines and green mushrooms sticking out of the staff, eyes covered in darkness. Is almost like painted black on his face, this tar like uh, stuff, and two almost wooden antlers. You disturb them. It's your death. And he uh, cast a spell uh, back towards the, uh, the back side of the quarry that you guys cannot see. All right. Um. All right, you all, any of you guys can see this actually. And uh, you all hear the clicking get louder. You can hear these things clicking, but there's like a larger clicking sound as well happening. You can't see it. Okay. Um, Anais, it is back to you. Uh, okay. Um, I'm just trying to think of positioning here. Um, I think my best bet is sorry that the map I... sideways for you guys. I'll I'm not gonna build my maps this way. Um, I will step right here, um, and cast Healing Word on Zach okay. as a bonus action. Sure. You almost have to, like, uh, well, I guess you don't have to touch him. So, I don't um, need to touch him. Yeah. The intention is almost to, like, stand over him a little bit, you know, to mm -hmm. get some attention. Uh, but the, the that's a... Four. Sorry. Better than zero. Zacky. Better than zero. Um, and then I will use my action to attack this one. Okay. One right in front of you. With my, with my blade. Yeah. Okay. 
Oh, yeah. Um, uh, 21. 21? Okay. Go ahead and roll me mm-hmm. damage as you uh, stick down your glaive and it cuts right through its body. Uh, four. Four? It's dead. Mm-hmm. Oh, nice. All right. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be uh, too defensive or anything. Um, but uh, the, is that your turn? Yes. Okay, perfect. Kahu, uh, the rabbit's now dead. Uh, you can see this druid standing over as all these spiders start swarming uh, Zachary and Mekai. What do you do? Wait, 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 wait. Uh, Are we on Mekai. our second? Oh, nice. Sorry. Yeah, I yeah, didn't get my... May... Mekai goes before Anais, and we missed her turn. Yeah. I was oh, like, sorry. wait, yeah, yeah, are we right. still right. on? <laughs> no, that's my bad. I skipped right over you. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sitting guy. here being like, I know what to do. Okay. I was deciding what the dru- um, what the druid was gonna do. That's my bad. Yep. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. So, Anias, did you do anything to Zach? Yes, but I guess it just depends if you wanna if you were gonna do something first, then you would do it right. first, I guess. If that's how you want to do it, I don't know. I'll let um, you have this moment. Where you guys kind of both move at the same time. So you got yeah. okay. you know, see her. So I healed that. That's on me. Yeah. Okay, sounds good. Well, I'm just gonna punch these spiders. Yeah, I'll give you guys that one. That one's on me. Um, it's okay. Um, I will just do exactly what I did last time and punch these and stab these spiders. Go for it. Which one are you going for? This one? Uh, yeah, that one. Okay. First. Yep. Go to roll attack. Um, that is a. 16. 16 hits. Go to roll me damage. Okay. That is a four. Four? That one's dead. Uh-huh. Okay. You and slice then through, I'll it do... kind of cuts in half, one leg flying off. I'll do my other key point and then do two more with Flurry of Blows. Where are you moving? Uh, uh I'll just move. Can I move over it or yeah, no? You can move can right I not over get it. to it? Yeah, you can move over it. It's fine. Okay. Yeah, so I'm just gonna kind of make my way, make my way. Um, that is an 18. 18. We just hits. moved up. Mm-hmm. Okay, and that's three points. It is dead. Okay, and then last one. Yeah, is also stepping, a 16. Stepping forward again. <laughs> yep. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Yes. Uh, where were you starting I have 40. from again? 40. Oh, yeah, 40. I have 40 okay, feet fine. of movement. Yeah, mm-hmm. And Marks. I'll punch this one. 16, and that is uh, six points of damage. If they had, you crush, stomping, stabbing through these spiders, uh, Anias, Zachary, you are all safe at the moment. Uh, Zach from blinks, these. and the spiders are gone, basically. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Mekai swirling. You can see her dagger flying through the air very gracefully. Um, all right. Is that your turn? Apparently. <laughs> yes, that's your turn. Oh, sorry. I wasn't even looking at the screen. Okay. Sorry. I, I almost need like three screens of how I have it set up right now. It's, I, I need to get a better setup. Uh, Kahu. Um, so this is a 13. This is a 13 foot high mm-hmm. rock formation, right? And this is a six foot high? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Um... I'm going to move. So I'm going to do five, ten feet to there. Okay. And I'm going to attack the spider there next to me. Perfect. Um. Seven. Yeah, I'd say you can reach it. Uh, and that is uh, 21 to hit. Understand. How much hit? 21. Yeah, that definitely hits. For 8 points of damage. That one is dead and gone. Obliterated. And then, so I use 10 feet, so. 10, 15. Move to there. Okay. Mekai, um, as you are recovering from this and turning around to view the rest of the battlefield, you can now see the source of the larger clicking. A larger bluish-white 
spider that seems to be clanking down on these metal and almost seems to be blurring out um, in and out of, of sight. All right. Zachary, you are now up. Uh, Anais and Meikai standing over you kind of just open up your eyes to see Meikai twirl and, and destroy all the spiders that were literally over you as you're just covered in this green and black bull spider blood. So as I get up, I just mark chosen. <laughs> and <laughs> um, I will cast Bless on all three of them again. Poor buddy. A bonus action, pull out the potion and drink it. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Good move. Are you uh, moving anywhere? Nope. Okay. All right. Not a problem. Uh, so it is back up to the spiders this round. Um, you guys hear uh, some sort of clicking, like, as they seem to back off you for the moment. And are almost protecting this thing. Hey. All right. Uh, you see this druid uh, rabbit folk. What do you have business up in my coffee? I think it's our turn to give the humans little taste of their own blood. And you see him blink over here, standing right on top of you. No. 13 feet up at the moment. Mm-hmm. He's just kind of looking down at you. Okay. All right, Mekai, what are you doing? Uh... Wait, he's like 13 feet up? He's 13 feet up on a cliff looking down at Kahu at the moment. So I can still get to him because cl if if I climb up there, that's half my movement, right? It, it's half movement speed. So to climb up like the six foot and then the thirteenth, each one would be a half uh, so a ten foot square essentially. Like, Plus five. Wait. Fifteen. Be yeah, you could still difficult get there. terrain. I could get up there. You do have a difficult terrain potion, but yeah. Well, I don't have it on me. No. Zach has it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you could, you could, you could just get up to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm stabbing. Okay. As you get up <laughs> to the uh, the second story, there, go to roll me acrobatics. Now that you're going up this way, it's a pretty easy one. Going up this way. Um, eighteen. Eighteen. Yeah. Nice. Quickly, easy. You monk shit up that thing, um, and are able to get up there. Go ahead and move your token. Okay. Uh, sorry. Boop. Okay, perfect. Uh, go to roll me some attacks if that's what you're doing. Well, it's just the one thing super exciting. Oh, that's uh, 21. Oof, 21. He goes to yeah. a, uh, kind of raise his uh, like wooden quarter staff to defend himself. Uh, but you, you kind of like switch your um, your dagger and get right underneath it. Go yeah. Okay. That's five. Five points of damage? Five. Yeah. Nice. So you stab him. Shouldn't us primordials stick together? Do anything else? Mm, I don't think I can. Nope. You have a bonus. I do? Oh. Oh, as an okay, unarmed strike, sorry. I'm still learning how to monk. You're good. Yeah. Okay. Still looking. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh that's an eighteen. Eighteen? Uh definitely hit. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead so... and roll me the mage. So my encounter bill. Bullet. There it is. One plus strength modifier. So that one just does two. 
Two, two points. points. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this time, though, you uh, take your other hand, uh, taking your knuckle, and just dig right into that wound and just Gah! as he takes two more points of damage. All right. Perfect. Nice. You doing anything else? No. Okay. So now, my favorite little buddy. <sighs> You look over and see this spider just disappear as yep, um, as it just seems to be gone from sight. Uh, Kahu, you five, ten. Okay. Oh, uh, you do not sense anything at the moment. All right, uh, that is its turn. And nice, it's up to you. Um, I forgot to change my light to red for TPK. There we go. I mean, uh, for battle um, cam. Haha. <laughs> um, I think I will just. Um, I'll do Sacred Flame on this druid. Okay. He has to make a dex save. That would be... Dex save, huh? Ooh, not... No. No. Three. Three? Sorry, that was three. <laughs> that was, that was three points, Mike. Three points. Instead of two? Uh-huh. Okay, all right. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. I was reading. You're fine. Okay, uh, five points of damage to it. Five points. As all of a sudden you see this radiant, uh, almost uh, column of white light uh, with bolts of lightning uh, running through it. As it <laughs> takes another five points of damage. All right. Uh, starting to look a little hurt, uh, but it's taking its taking its hits. You do anything else? Um. No. Nope. Did I skip the druid's turn? Mm, no, he, he bounced so. over. No, he bounced over. That's right. Yeah, he teleported. Uh, Kahu. It's uh, taking um, its licks right in front of you. What's standing up there with? I want to move five feet that way. Mm hmm. And then I'm going to. Does that get me within reach to attack the druid? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay, I'm gonna do that. I wanted to give some verticality to this uh, to this battle map. Away. Probably miss because it's hard to swing from that position. What'd you roll? Uh, you are blessed too. So I plus a d4. That's right. Probably still got a miss, but I wasn't even adding my d4s. Can you still hit? It's a yeah. ten to hit. <laughs> 10, that's plus the d4? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, no, he just, like, uh, oh, pushes out his staff, and you can see these uh, spores circle out and blast out from his uh, from his aura, almost, like, protecting him as it's, like, blowing you off uh, the, the hit. All right, that's all I got. Okay. Uh, Zachary, it is your turn. Chosen. <laughs> I don't feel anything where I'm at, do I? Um, let me double check. Yeah, I keep on remembering that. Five, ten. No, you do not. Yeah. Um, and this is actually one I really need to look up the rulings on, but I'm gonna rule it in your favor. But it's not quite invisibility. Um, so for now, I will step back to about here, and I will ready Firebolt if that fire, or that, uh, fire comes back. The big anywhere one? near my friends. If it moves anywhere near my friends, I'm shooting it with a Firebolt. The large one? Yeah. Or any spider? Uh, primarily the big spider. Okay. That's what I'm most concerned about. So. 
Okay, I will let you decide if the little ones trigger at all, because it is the little ones' turn. Um, this time, they swarm a little bit. This one's gonna dash over here. Uh, 5, 10, 15, this one gets here. Twenty. This one gets on the other side of Meikai. It gets up here. Wait, so it goes up... T what is that? 13 plus 6? Mm -hmm. Spiders oh. uh, do not have any... Um, what's the word? Time speed. They don't care. Yeah, they... Um, they traverse the mountain. Yeah, exactly. They don't care. Right. You, you mean what I know. They, they don't have any difficult right. terrain. Um, right, but not difficult terrain, but I mean, like, though, right? and then yeah, it's still, it still goes, okay. it's still going up 20 yeah, it's not, feet it's not attacking and then you. over. Yeah, it's not attacking, yeah. it's just dashing. It's just okay. dashing. It okay. Yeah. Don't worry, I got you. Yeah. But, it is now the druid's turn. Fine. You're not with us. And you are poison to the land. And he takes his hand out and he attempts to try and grab your throat, Kahu. Plus what? Does a 18 hit? It does not because I have my shield on. Hey, noise. Ah. You see uh, this uh, green, uh, almost vine like spore like energy start wrapping around the shield and start rusting where it hits. Uh, but uh, you are unaffected by whatever is trying to cast on you. All right. Fine. So be it. Guess you could be food then. And it, uh, you see it um, blink again. And it's now jumped over here onto this rock formation. All right. Uh, Meikai, it is now your turn. You have a small okay. spider climbing up your back. Mm, I'll just sprung. try to get it. That's a 16. 16? Definitely it. Five. Five points of damage as you're quickly able to slash out. You just hear right in front of you a crack. In front of me? Mm hmm. As you kill that spider. Oh. Okay. Uh, um, Zachar, are any of these. Is your trigger going off at all, or are you holding it for the larger one? Okay. Holding still. Alright, Mika, what are you doing? Standing in place, I guess. You're just standing there? Yep. Okay. Alright. Well, well, what's around? Okay, okay. I'm sorry. Is John, is Kahu below or above? Because on the map, it looks like he's below me. He's below you. Well, okay. He's below you almost six feet. Oh, okay. That spider's another six feet down from him. Okay. Um. I guess I could go get rid of the other one up there. Yeah, I'll go over here and just get this one, I guess. As you do, you you almost trip and feel this large spider leg as you almost bump oh. past it. You feel something right next to you. <laughs> Good. Well, it's large. Yeah. But can I still get to the other one? Yeah. Yeah, you're okay. right. You're right up on it. That's a natural 17. 17. Go to roll me Plus Plus four. Plus four. It did. And literally, yeah. you can feel the uh, breath as, <laughs> and you almost feel little spickles of saliva in your face as you hear this scream, literally right in front of your face. <laughs> Good. Is that your turn? Yep. All right. 
next up, almost appearing out of the ethereal, this spider uh, reappears in front of you. Just outside of your range, Akahu. Um, as it seems to almost like be blinking. It's hard to uh, see. As it's, it's almost like has a blur to it. Uh, but it's going to, in anger after you killing its children, going to try and uh, reach out with a bite attack. Do I get to firebolt it as well? You do. Go ahead and you see it reappear. You cast your fireball. Your firebolt. 24 to hit. 24 to hit. That hits. Nice. Nice. Let me damage. Nine fire damage. Nine. I like it. All right. Uh, as it starts to burn with a fire over on its side, it and then it launches out for a bite attack. Twenty one against you. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. Um. I know this. I'm jamming to this song. <laughs> Oof. Oof. Ten points of piercing damage as it sticks into your shoulder. Need you to make a constitution saving throw. Hey! You are blessed too, you get a d4 on the save. Yay! Yay. Hey. Um, so that is 21. 21. Uh, you feel a pulse of um, green searing pain as you look down at your wound, but you're able to fight it off. And as it takes its uh, fangs out, you can see this dripping poison. Uh, but you're quickly able to uh, uh, you know, shove off any effects that it might have had. Anyways, that's its turn. Um, uh, it is now still visible in front of you. Um, oh my gosh. Okay. All right. So uh, nice. It is now your turn. Okay. I look between all of these things and I am going to cast... Bane on the giant spider. Noise. This druid guy and Noise. this spider in front of me. Noise. So they all have to roll d4s and subtract them from their attack rolls and saving throws. Do they have to do a save throw first? They're gonna save first. I don't think it just happened. Do? I've never yeah. cast Bane before. Yeah, I, I, believe believe it's I didn't know that. <laughs> that seems fair though. Okay. Um. Yeah. yeah it's charisma saving throw. One Spiders on the can't spider. have much charisma. Or on the evil druid. And a six on the little spider. All of them are Bane. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Yeah, so she just like whips her spear around. It's almost like it like pew lightning, like pew, pew, pew at nice. each of them. Nice. They kind of get blasted back and uh, you see a uh, this little zap of electricity that seems to be continually uh, arcing across its body. Yeah. Um, all right. So that's your yes, turn? It's my turn, yes. All right. Kataranji, what are you doing? Uh, first, I'm going to try to attack the spider in front of me. Okay. Uh, does a 14 hit? 14 does hit. As it is visible, you do not have disadvantage on it. Or are we on the little one, right? Little one, yeah. Little one, sorry. Yeah, that definitely hits. Uh, that's for five points of damage. Yep, it's dead. Uh, How's one, the druid looking? Uh, it's taken a few licks, um, but it's 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 holding its own at the moment. Okay. I'm going to attempt to. I'm gonna. What was that? Ten feet of movement to move up there. Mm hmm. And then 15, 20, 25, just kind of get to there. And I am going to action surge and try to stab this spider. Nice. I like it. Go to roll me attack. The blur seems it. to not really be uh, in motion. 16. 16? I guess. Yeah. Is able to hit as you feel it slice through its thinly uh, backed armor. Uh, four points of damage. Four points. Nice. All right. Uh, okay. So looking looking pretty good. 
All right, so that's your turn, Zachary. Um, so I'm going to move over to here, not leaving combat with this spider. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to take my staff, and I'm going to throw it up as high in the air as I can and do the blinding light thing to try to get Ooh. the spiders. And yeah, like if I'm right here, actually, it's... Is that 20 feet for this one over here? One, two, three. Now it's missing, so I'll go here still. So just shoot up the staff. Blinding light, they need to make or constitution saving throws. Nice. And they are baned, right? So. As a two. They are! As a two minus so two. <laughs> yeah. That is a zero for the spider. And a one, three minus two okay. for the They're drawer. all blinded then. And then that small spider. Damn. Uh, 15 minus three, so 12. Yeah, they're all blinded. They're all blinded. Nice. The druid's shielding his eyes. Uh, you hear in, as you raise this, chosens are not those who succeed, but who rise up again when they fall. Job, All right, as you cascade this out as a shining light, the rest of you were able to shield it just in time. Um, as this happened, you guys see the animals in front of you uh, hurting, Cleeton. 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 All right, uh, the spider turns uh, wildly, I'll say, at you and Ias. And <laughs> had a nat 20 and a 6. Because he's disadvantaged. Uh, so he misses. Um, this one's going to climb up here to try and get to Kahu. So this one's not blinded, right? No, I was out of my range. Uh, that is a nine hit. I'm not rolling well at all tonight. Um, <laughs> and we get down to the druid. You're not going to escape me. And you see him heal himself. Uh. All right. Uh, Makai. Um, I'll punch the homie in front of me. <laughs> All right. Punch the homie uh, in front of you. I get saved That's at the end of their turn, our... by the way. For at the end of their turns? Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. That, that line is from one of our first home game sessions. Nice. Um, nice. Okay. Uh, it is that a little is late, a... so let's try and uh, get through these rounds pretty quick, though. I don't yeah. want to end in the okay. combat, unfortunately. Is Bless still up? Bless yes. and Bane okay. is still up. Yeah. 19. Uh -huh. do, you, do we get advantage against blinded creatures? Yes. Oh. Do you get advantage on them, or is it just... They yes. get this yeah, okay. Because they that's can't see the coming, so. Gotcha. Yeah, that's even higher. It's not a net 20, though, but that is six points of damage. Nice. And right. then I'll punch it with my unarmed strike as well. And yeah, that's. I love doing it. Uh, five more points. Five more points? It is looking really rough. Okay. Yeah. You start seeing cool. it. It's now uh, blue blood just cascading out of it. It's, it's looking pretty hurt. All right, is that your turn? Mm-hmm. Oh. This thing is going to try and dip out. You guys both get an opportunity to attack. Yeah. Um. Advantage. With blast. advantage. Yeah. With blast. Uh, yeah, that's a that's a not that's a dirty twenty. Um. Uh, Sixteen. 16 hits. And that's five points from me. Okay. Seven points for me. Seven points. That does it. As you guys <sighs> slice through it, punch, uh, one of the legs comes undone. It starts rolling down off of the hill. Dead homie on the ground. <laughs> Dead homie. <laughs> Enough of this. Um... Yeah, that's that was its turn. That's fun. Uh, nice. 
Um, okay. So, how hurt does this guy look? I just healed. Uh-huh. Okay. okay. Still blinded, right? Still blinded. Okay. Okay. Um, I will... And he's pretty high up. Yeah, I'd say it's about, uh, 13 feet. Okay. Um, I'll cast Guiding Bolt at him. Nice. nice. Alright. I'll just, like, hurl it in his direction. Get advantage. Uh, advantage? Okay. Oh, I rolled a 19 on the die, so I think I got it. Huge. Y'all, my rolls nice. are really sucking. Right now. Good. <laughs> I know as a DM, it's frustrating. 17. Oh, my oh. God. 17 points of damage. Ooh. He gets hit so hard around his blindness, he slips and falls down off of this uh, rock face, um, hitting his head. Um, when he comes down, he looks uh, passed out at the moment, potentially dying, depending on what you do. So, still in turn order, correct? Huh? Still yeah, we're in turn still order. in turn order. Right. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Uh, that's your turn. I'm done. Yes. Yeah, you hit it hard. What? Mm-hmm. Um, but it's glowing <laughs> with this little <laughs> electricity. Uh, Kahu, what are you doing? I'm gonna stack the spider in front of me. Go for it. That's a. Wait, D4. The 20 to hit? Yeah, it hits. Definitely hits. Six points of damage? Six points. It is dead like a doornail. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. 30 gets me there. Perfect. Alright, Zachary. I will loop around to this side and cast Spare the Dying on okay. Rabbit Guy. Give me a perception check when you do that. Or a medicine check. Either one. I don't know. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. Four. Cool. We spare the Dying. <laughs> it's it's a body. Yeah. Yep. Actually, I'm I mean... Trying to... I was, I'm, I don't think you really needed a roll. Uh, actually, no. I, it's your your. It's battle's heavy. You're not sure what's going on. But yeah, you spare the dying him. Um, but you're kind of more focused on an eye than the rest of the group. All right, is that your turn though? Um, yeah. That's a cool uh, turn. All I can do. Perfect. So. Okay. Um, the spider goes to try and attack you and ice. And. It's a spider, it doesn't do anything. Um, <laughs> my rolls have been ridiculous tonight. They are it's a blind rolls. spider with Bane. Right, I mean. <laughs> yeah, it's oh, not yeah. doing good. Yeah, I'm good. sorry. Let me, let me see if it's even lower. Yeah. It's not lower. Let me Don't see if I can get down to four. zero. <laughs> it's zero. It's a zero. Four minus four. Uh, uh. Bane. Um, the druid is now spared. Makai, it is now your turn. Uh, you can throw daggers, right? I'm gonna throw it at the spider. Yeah, well, okay. I'm gonna get closer. Sure, you hit it, you're, we're out of combat. Yeah, it's got one. <laughs> yeah. I mean, <laughs> yes, um, as you do that, um, you guys are now out of combat. This druid is now unconscious, laying there on the ground. Um, time up, time up. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Um, Time up. If someone else wants to give me away. either a medicine or a perception check while you're doing this. I will. As Meikai and Kahu, you're taking the staff away and tying them up. 22. You now look at him after he's fallen. The dark black stuff is gone. As they're like starting to tie him up, I like, I, I like pat, rapidly pat someone's arm, whoever's tying him up. And point to his face. Oh, it, that's gone. You should like quickly go to hands. Is he is he breathing and stuff still okay? You're saying that uh, you're saying that to one of them. I'm asking that out loud. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Check his breathing. Finger under the nose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you did yeah. spare the dying. You know he's fine. Okay. Kind of sit him up. And then I want to kind of take a lap and make sure there's no other, like, I kind of want to, like, head over here 
Mm. They make a lap and then come back. See if there's anything else to be wary of. You can, um, you can hear a little bit of clicking echoing from down in the well. But they seem to be wa- They seem to be running away from you. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and post like up here then and kind of do a sentry watch. Okay. Perfect. What are you guys doing with the druid? Should we just... I have a question just... quick. Sure. Mm. With this being a quarry, is there any explosives nearby? Uh, go ahead and give me an investigation check. Homemade fireball. There you go. <laughs> Uh, that is a 13. 13? You look around, um, they don't really seem to be using explosives here. It seems to be a lot of just chipping away with pickaxes here. And not much explosions or anything. Make I give me an investigation check. Ooh. 21. 21. You look at his staff, and there's these purple gems that seem to have been tied into the into the staff. Seem to be sparkling. Grab your attention. Can I take? Can I take him? Sure. Yeah. yeah. You now have them. You take a look at them, and they feel familiar. It reminds me of like the wisteria at home. Mm. The flowers like the same purple and wispiness. Mm -hmm. It's interesting. It's really beautiful to you. Mm. You're just not quite sure. Something's kind of throwing you off with them. Why they feel familiar. And I keep thinking about it while everybody's doing stuff. Perfect. I would like to check this guy's pockets while he's unconscious and <laughs> see if there's anything like that would hint as to what's up with him. Uh, you check his pockets. Or a bag or anything he has. Doesn't really seem to be anything else on him. Maybe a few rations okay. in his pockets. Okay. He seems to be pretty low on them. Okay. I can, I'll look at Hey, kind of just like, where are those gems? I'm trying to figure that out. They... There's something about them. We have these flowers at home of the same color that... Give me a few minutes to think. I'm not good with arcane stuff, but... The Wisteria have always had some sort of... Protection qualities. Okay. So, I'm gonna keep thinking. Perfect. Um, I think now is a good place to wrap up the night. I will let you guys decide what to do with this mysterious druid. Um, unless you want to wake him up real quick and ask him his name, that's up to you. Uh, I don't know if you guys are trying to talk to him or... I'm sure we will, but I don't mind doing it we'll next, week. That next time. Yeah, we can do it next week. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Sounds good. Do, do I see anything from my position where we can kind of... Oh, no. thank you. Mm -hmm. pull him and kind of put ourselves in a position where if more spiders showed up we would be a little more defensible yeah I mean the one you're at now is pretty good because you can like while you're standing you can kind of see where they're coming from um, and you guys okay. could quickly get up here on this it's like a, a high ground essentially okay well if that's, I have the high ground if that's the case then I'll probably continue to just kind of stay up there and watch them I was just wondering if there's like a shed or something to like um, Stick him in, but... Yeah, I mean, you can look over. You guys can see, like, almost like a mining cabin esque lean to um, that you can see that where some of the guys kind of like might be able to like take a lunch break underneath, and that's where they kind of prep the pulley down. If you wanted to, you know, um, move over there, well, you could do that instead. I think we'll stay here if it looks just as the same. So. Right, yeah, I mean, it's going to be about the same distance from the other one as well. Yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah, perfect. Awesome. So we'll go ahead and wrap that up here. We're, we're going a little late tonight anyway. So uh, I think it's a, a good spot to end it. Um, thank you guys so much for jumping in and 
having fun with us this week as we're uh, giving our own little uh, our own little uh, Easter eggs of sorts. Um, <laughs> so, so Pongo, thank you so much for uh, the uh, subscription and uh, joining in. Um, and anyone that wants to uh, be part of our contest tonight, um, it was originally uh, exclamation mark giveaway, but I've, I've realized that's conflicting with stream elements. So we changed it to hashtag contest. If anyone wants to get in on it on the last minute uh, after I do my announcements, um, I'll go ahead and do that real quick. Um, so you get a last chance to jump in for the giveaway because uh, you guys are amazing and blasted through literally our next sub goal that I was going to have you guys do at 100 where I'll dye my hair the color whatever the uh, giveaway winner gets and you guys will get also a copy a whole set of our uh, stickers that we just came out with in our merch store y'all we have moich we have merch now super fun super exciting uh, so hope you guys had fun um, I will be here um, today is Thursday so um, I might stream tomorrow we'll see I might, I might do an impromptu one but I will definitely be here during Beacon's Aura's slot on Sunday, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to um, just hang out with you guys. We'll have a little Easter if you celebrate it or just a normal Sunday if you don't uh, day. Um, so we'll do that since uh, we will not be having Beacon's Aura for another three weeks. Um, again, thank you everyone that has uh, supported St. Jude's for our charity. We got over $550, guys. It's amazing. We had a last minute donation from one of my best friends. Um, that came in and gave fifty dollars. Uh, who he's the one that uh, just lost his mother last year. So um, he was very, very touched by what we did, and I, um, he wanted to send a thank you to you guys. So the Bardic Barrage is the best community ever, and I thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. All of you are amazing. So um, we're gonna go ahead and do this giveaway because I think it's like crazy. Y'all are nuts. Yay! Um, let me turn off the. It's like starting to make certain people ineligible. I think it's, uh, I've done something wrong. So we have you everyone in there. With each one if it's, uh, no, it, it should be working fine now. Yeah, um, I think I got it working. So we'll see. <laughs> so, drum roll please. Let's see what now. Yay! I don't know if it's gonna say or if it just tells me. Uh, okay, I might just do a d20. <laughs> D20 is more fun. It's more fun. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and two of those don't count because it's stream elements and I bought. So, who wants to roll the D20 for our contest? Yes. Because Bardic Dice is night bought in in Ill, Ill, illiterate or whatever. Wait, wait. We'll do we'll do the Lucky Clover D20. Go for it. Lucky Clover for a lucky winner. Yes. 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Roll again. Because Nightbot is not winning. 16. 16? 11. Wait, what? 13. 13. 13. 11, 12, 13. The winner of our contest. The one, the only. I'll shout him out. Oh, our I was hoping it was friend. me. Ruined keep. Yay! Who is a fantastic friend of the stream? Um, I'll message them because I believe they've already gone to, to bed. But they she have has. their own uh, stream tomorrow, Friday at 9 p.m. Um, so definitely check them out if you haven't followed them. They're a fantastic group of dancers and dragoners just like us. Um, so give them some hype. Give them some love. Um, with we'll British see accents. what my hair looks like next week, y'all. <laughs> Everyone keeps the wig. Look at that. So, uh, Half asleep. Oh, you have to sleep. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I will be sending you some stickers. And uh, you get to decide what my hair looks like when we come back next week, which is a little nerve-wracking. So, anyways, um, big blast out to you guys. Thank you guys so much for everything you do. Um, yeah. We'll see what happens with the strange druid and what our adventurers do next week on Fates United. <laughs> um, so, we're going to go ahead and do a quick raid here, as we always do. Tonight, I decided I wanted to find um, a D&D &D stream that we haven't uh, gone before. Like, we'll find someone with lower viewer count, because I think it's fun. Um... 
the last time I did this, they didn't speak English. So. Oh. <laughs> a little going, hard. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, they don't I speak hope... English, but let's try this. Let's see real quick. Nope. Okay. I, I should probably research this better next time. Oh, this one seems interesting. You can do tavern campaign. Can't hear. She kind of rubs her face. Sure. Okay. Let's do it. We're going with it. Uh, Crim Deal will be our raid target for the night. Yay. Everyone, Bardic Barrage, uh, send uh, some love and D and D uh, fanatic hype to them. Um, thank you guys again so much for joining. I will see you back here next week on Fates United. Everyone have a wonderful night. Thank you so much for your support. You guys are absolutely insane and broke me before the game. Y'all are nuts. I can't wait to uh, give this back to some of our favorite streamers with that once you guys get affiliate. So, love you guys all. Keep on doing what you do. Bye! See you next week. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye!